happening? Are we doing this? Chat, I... I am scared. I am so scared. All right, before we get into the game, though, here is my... Oh, look at the little fucking Lala. Here is the going live tweet. Go give it some love or the going live X, whatever you fucking call it. Give it a like, give it a retweet, give it a reply. Let's boost it. Oh, oh my God. Hello, chat! Hello! Ah! I... I am so nervous. I'm actually, I'm actually scared. This morning, I opened up FF14, right? I opened it up so I could get the game running so we didn't have any DCs while I went live. Or at least, uh, so I hope we don't get any DCs while I'm live. And I had this theme playing in my home and I was crying. I was sobbing because all I could think of was, oh my God, Pepper's people are dying. Pepper is from Thavner because that place reminds me most of my culture and like my background and it being like the first place that like we have to save and or is like the first place getting absolutely destroyed right now. Nah, nah. Yoshi P is literally going to have to pay for my therapy. I'm not, I am not ready for this. I am not ready. I have been anxiously awaiting this stream since Friday. And to think, to think, we have tomorrow and this Friday as well. We have three back-to-back -back Endwalker streams coming up. I know, we have to save Pepper's home! We have to save her family! I cannot wait to work on Pepper's lore after this. I'm very excited. Oh my god. Okay. <gasps> I made my room red to match the theme of the final days. We got this. Uh, Sari, Sari, Scary Squash, thank you for the six month resub. And Mango, thank you for the 14 month resub. We are streaming late. This is probably going to be a long stream. It's either going to be a long stream or a short, super over emotional stream. I'm not too sure which one it's going to be yet. But all I know, all I know is I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared and I'm gonna cry. I know I'm gonna cry. Or do I see, do I say Sarah? Oh my God, don't you dare. Hello. Ah, oh, I know I'm ready to save everyone from the final days. Do y'all think we can do it? Time for you to sit on my face? No, no. Download Tinder. I consider, I, I think you should download Tinder. More like end crier. Honestly, I thought I was going to be strong. I thought I would be able to like get through this game or at least get through Endwalker without crying so much. But literally in the last stream, I cried like five times over the most little, like the littlest things. This is going to, this is going to wreck me. Hello, Oopy Lou. All right, y'all, drop an emote in chat so I can say hi properly. Hello, Ava. Where's the cry counter? Well, it's not on the screen. It's on the other on the other page. We'll check it in a sec. It do be the way. It do be the way. Man, I'm like sitting here trying to process, and I'm about to, but I'm about to get through this. <laughs> this is my thank you for the 53 bitties. I have like, I don't know what to say. I like, I honestly don't know what to say, but I'll do my hellos first. Hello, Shabaton. Hello, Another Lid. Hello, Kelsey. Hello, Dissatisfied Guide. Hello, Bean. Hello, Fenris Joker. Hi. Hello, Dead Mango. Hello, Vanish. Ava. Hello, it's nice to see you. Vin. Hello. Urban Serpent. Hi. An adorable hello, Antoine Bell. It's nice to see you. Ken. Hello, hello, hello. Larry, I hope you're well. And Jacko, hello. Thank you for keeping Pepper Company in game, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Cosmos, where did you get, where do I get a big ass Eevee? This is from EB Games or like GameStop. Ashley, hello Ashley, hello Crossbow, hello Riku. It's nice to see y'all, it's nice to see everybody. Hello Perfect Calm. And, Sar and Scary Squash, also hello, hello Spade. Who else am I missing? The game she plays, they're gonna speed run their shower. So are, are they back? Are they back? I don't think so. L, hello! Hi, L. Hello, little bitty. Hello, and Ulmo, it's nice to see you. Hello, hello. 
Asian skills, hi, hi, hi. Kenzo, hello. Shashenka, hello. It's nice to see you again. Hello, Arun. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Carbonated Viking. Oh my god. I'm like sweating. I'm sweating in this. Maybe I should put on a tank top. I have nothing on underneath, so no one no one let me take this off. I might forget that I'm naked under here. Oh, okay. Do we just jump in, chat? Do we just dive in? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. The world is definitely not on fire. The world isn't set ablaze. There are no monsters lurking. Oh my god. I feel like I'm not ready. I thought my little guy was tough going into he to, to Heaven's Word, but I'm getting humbled. Yeah. I did not think Heaven's Word would whoop my ass. But then it did. It served my ass on a silver platter. But rolled up sleeves is always a W look. Thank you. Is this a vibe? Do I look good? I'm kind of matching. We got a lot of red going on here. You know? It's raining in my game. Must be fine. Yeah, just just a thunderstorm. Totally just a thunderstorm. Pepper's home is fine. Pepper's home is fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, chat. Oh. Mmm. The weather in game says apocalypse. It literally says apocalypse. Oh my god. Yeah, I may be getting cooked. Oh, Larry, you're a Lala. Yeah, there is a chance that we're getting cooked alive. Oh my god. Yeah, it was hailing today in Toronto. It was like a combination of hail and rain. Honestly, pretty refreshing. But no one asked for it. <laughs> Uh, I get head pat. Oh, we get. Oh, Voss is here! We got a sweet little Vo. I got a baby on my lap. We love to see it. We love to see it. <sighs> Pepper's almost fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's always this hot. True. We're used to this. We're used to the heat. I'm there in spirit, or I'm here in spirit. Yes, you are. I'm so sad you won't be joining us, L. I want my bunny love. My little bunny love. In flesh, I'm working. Working and raiding. <sighs> All right. Chat. Do we do it? Do we start? Is it time? Oh my God. Is it Endwalker time? I'm so nervous. I'm stalling. I'm like actually stalling. Normally I'm like, let's go. Let's dive in. Like, woohoo. But right now I'm like, fuck. Like, I want to just talk to y'all, but I'm so anxious that I have nothing to say. Do you ever get in that state? Do you ever get in that state where you're just like, I feel like I have more things to say. I feel like I could be more chatty, but I am so anxious that there's nothing on my mind apart from whatever is causing me anxiety. But in like a stalling way, don't kill me. But in a good way, like I'm very excited for this. I just... I feel like we've been waiting months to get to something climactic like this in game. That's true. I am just a ball of anxiety. I have ADHD. That's me daily. You know what? You guys got me there. We're all mentally ill, so that's just all of us. Period. Hello, James. Welcome to Texas. Hi, this is the daily weather for us. <laughs> How are you, James? Rerolled instance and found the party. Wait, what? You have to reroll to get in here? Oh, yeah, because it's an instance area, I guess, right? You have to reroll it? You have to go in and out, in and out? There's two? Oh, that's hilarious. That's so funny. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You do this crazy thing where you look all you always look incredible. What the heck? Thank you. I do my best. I do my heckin' best. Okay? 
I don't know what I'm doing, but it's my best. Hello, Deadpool. Why are there boxes? Oh, um, my family's in there. Don't be, don't be too alarmed. Pepper just put her family in there for safety, for safety. I'll be cheering y'all on from behind the curtain. <laughs> Cat and box name a better team. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Wait, is this one of us? Is this one of our friends? Are they, are they MSQing? They're a wanderer. Who's Bishop? Oh, oh, hello? Who's Bishop? Is there a Bishop in the chat? Wait, me? Oh, Goose, that's you? Hello, Goose. I send friend request. My army grows. My army grows. <laughs> we'll come visit as soon as I win another fall, guys. I believe in you, Ken. I believe in you. I'm on my couch. I'll have to get on my phone. Don't worry about it, Goose. Don't worry. Man. Okay. So, what do we know so far in this game? What do we know so far? Apart from me crying. <sighs> the final days are upon us. And it's a little too late to send everybody to the moon, basically. You get stronger with each friend on Final Fantasy XIV and each block on Twitter? Yes, exactly. When my FC and friend, like, friendless grow, so does my heart. And it's our fault, kinda? Is it our fault, kinda? Don't really get to watch often because time zones, but I'm very excited to see what you think from this point onwards. I am scared, Lid. I'm scared. I'm excited, but I'm scared. Is everybody else, is everybody else excited? Like, am I the only one that's like horrified right now? Why is Larry laughing? What do y'all know that I don't know? That better have more of the red ah it looks kind of weird did i dc chat are we good did i just dc oh we're good okay okay my chat like my chat refreshed without me doing anything and I was like <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let me know if y'all experience any lags, okay, so I can make adjustments. Okay, good, good, good. Where are we exactly? Like what major event happened last? Um, we left Urianger on the moon. Um, because he was gonna help the rabbit beanos, the um, the Loperits, uh, with getting the moon all prepped and like, you know. Get it, getting it all prepped so the, so the people of Ethereus of Earth could go over. Um, and then it turns out that the final days are already upon us. Look, quite literally. And Thavner is up in fucking smokes. And there are like hellish creatures everywhere. Hold on, y'all can't see my beautiful Tuss. There she is. Um, and yeah, shit's not looking good. Shit is not fucking looking good. That's where we're at. That's where we're at, and I'm scared, and I'm gonna poop, and I'm gonna pee, but I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I wish I had like more lighting in here to make it like more dramatic with the couleurs. It's party time. Yes, it's party time. I can only assume there's a dungeon coming up. Like, why wouldn't there be a dungeon coming up here? Right? Right? Okay. <laughs> okay, chat. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's ready. We're ready. You ready? Are we ready? How's the volume, by the way? Volume okay? Do I gotta crank it up a bit more? Hello, Bitfrost. Volume is good. Okay, let me know if I have to make any adjustments, okay? Ah! No game audio for me? James, you lie. You lie. Yes. Yes. Let's get the copy pasta going. We jam, but at what cost? <laughs> Hello, Enigma. Smiling, laughing, crying, throwing up. Me too. Hello, Drew. Ah! Oi, get me out of here. 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 
Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out. Wait, can I ride? Get me out of here. Put me back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Volume needs to be up. Okay. Girl, girl, the shore. I'm lazy. <laughs> do, you, do you need a two-person mount? <laughs> okay. All right. Could have just swam five feet, but Sarah has standards. Yeah, I'm a princess. I'm a princess, and I'm just a cat. I'm just a girl, and I'm just a cat. Bit louder. Okay. I guess we won't know. I guess we won't know until um until we're in a cutscene with voices, but yeah, alright. Does this sound good right now? Like bro, this is a bop. I need this on Spotify immediately. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh god. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do it. 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 No, louder. We can still hear you. All right, all right. It was nice. Uh, it was nice streaming tonight, chat. Uh, see y'all tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, Ken made it. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. First, you know what? Let me stall some more. Let me talk to everybody. Let me just talk to everyone. Yes. Hello, Astinian. Usually the most dangerous foe in a worm's domain is the worm themselves. I would reach her. I'll be as offended as I am horrified. That's what Ishtola has to say. I shall survey the, en the environs closely as we go about our search. There may be some clue as to how we can combat this one. Alright, what does the could have to say? If it's true that the people themselves have transformed into beasts, why? Even the radiant host could suffer the same fate. For us, perish the thought. <laughs> oh my god! What if what? No. No. They're gonna be fine. The scions are gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine. Don't worry. No matter how grim things might get, I won't lose heart. I'm ready whenever you need me. Oh, my baby. My baby. If I could fucking do the dungeon with Alize, I would, but you know what? I need. I need Shep. <laughs> Alright, Alfie, now. So the beasts are not born of creation magics run amok, but are rather the altered forms of the people themselves. In that sense, this manifestation of the final days differs from, what, from that we, which we witness at Amarot. Wait, that's true. And for the worse, I dare say, if any man, woman, or child could become a beast at any moment, there's no telling whence the next threat might come. We must exercise extreme caution. All right, let's listen to Mr. Guahatia. Innocent souls twisted and reformed into unholy abominations. I thought I had seen the last of such nightmares with the Sin Eaters. We must act quickly, Pepper. Every moment we tarry, we tar par parry, means another soul maybe lost this nightmare. <laughs> okay. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yeah, this, this is sad. This is scary. I, like... My <laughs> still a voice laughs, thank you. My, um, I'm... That's what I'm, like, scared of, chat. Because, like, my Pepper lore is that she's from here. Pepper is from Thavner, because Thavner reminds me of my people. Like, it reminds me of India and, like, Iran, specifically India. And Pepper is, she's a South Asian kitty cat. Of course she's a South Asian kitty cat, right? And, like, all I can think of is, did her, like, did her family, like, did her family turn? Is her family dead? Is her entire tribe gone? Because if that's the case, then this shit, man, I thought this girl, I literally thought this girl when I created her, when I first started playing this game, she was going to be a happy character. Happy OC. Nothing bad would ever happen to her. She was going to be like the only OC of mine that didn't have trauma. And then Orshifon died. And then Shadowbringers happened. And now this? Now her tribe may be dead? Like, I thought, I really... <laughs> I really thought everything would be like all fucking... All fine, all fine and dandy. Boy, was I fucking wrong. All right, let me just get something. Let me just get something straight real quick. I said, I'm sure Endwalker is a happy x pack It's in the name. So happy and hopeful. You're right. You're right. Happy walk. <laughs> I 
Sorry, I think she can make a trauma free OC. I really thought this would be like my one trauma free OC. I really thought. That means people have gone through the toughest shit or something or another. You know what? Maybe that's why Pepper is so PMA. Because of the trauma. It feels so good to see your culture represented in game. Love that you feel the connection. Yeah! I mean, like, I don't know how many of y'all were here when we got to Thavnir, but I cried. When we got to Razad Han, I literally cried. It was so pretty. Who dis? Who dis? Ad adorable! Hello, adorable! Yeah. Yeah. I cried. And, like, I still cry. Like, literally, like, that's what I was saying earlier in chat. Like, today, like, when I was listening to this music, I was crying. I felt like I was, like, I was cleaning my home. And it felt like I was in an epic high fantasy Bollywood movie. And I was like, oh, my God. This is so dramatic. <laughs> I love that you're seeing implications of story going well beyond the main script in the wider world that's being portrayed here. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> nah, I'm obsessed. The game is so good. The game is so fucking good. I'm scared. Okay, chat, we're done stalling. We're done stalling. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. All right. <laughs> I'm still stalling. I'm so scared. I don't want to do this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ah, it's a cutscene. Okay. <laughs> Everyone has assembled, yes? Oh, man. I have to, I, oh. I don't remember, like, what exact tone the accent for ah Ahwan is. I don't remember how to pronounce his name. Um, so I'm just gonna do my voice, okay? I don't wanna- I don't wanna butcher it and come off racist to my own people. <laughs> Everyone has assembled, yes? I thank you for lending us your aid in our battle against the blasphemy. Let us review our plan of attack. I would have you board this boat and circle around to the north side of the island. Okay. There you will find a dense jungle we call Vanaspati. Vanaspati? 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 Am I getting that right? I'm just gonna assume I got it right. It is a sacred wood, home to many temples and a number of villages. <laughs> Vitra and the Radiant Host have gone there ahead of us. I ask that you join them and do all in your power to destroy this blasphemy. Bro, I'm gonna do my best. Pepper is gonna do her goddamn best. I don't know what her best is, but. Ah! Ah! So quick! So quick! Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's add Tess. Let's get War Champ in here. Oi. Oi. And are we gonna get a Keaton? Avika, hello! You edged us so hard last stream without knowing it. Hey, I edged myself, bro. Good luck, bucko. What does that mean? If Ulmo can mod, Ulmo, are you comfortable modding for this? Yeah, perfect. All right. We got my little static. All right. Ready? Are you ready? Uh, I forgot how to play Dark Knight. So bear with me. Bear with me. It's been a while, okay? It's been a while. It's been a while. All right, I want to let you get in there. Okay. I can tank if you want. No, I tank. <laughs> I have to learn. Oh. Okay, ready? You got your spams ready, chat? You got your little nodders ready? <laughs> oh shit, is my, do I have a mugshot? 
Oh my god. Oh no. This better not be like the Shadow Bringers the, the Shadow Bringers dungeon where where like the very first one you're in with all the like transformations and shit. Bro. <laughs> Bro, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not, I'm not crying. I'm definitely not crying. Okay, let's go. <laughs> if you're tanking, then I guess you're right. Everyone is gonna die here. Yeah. Run, do not transform, go! Oh God, oh fuck, oh my God, I didn't even, I didn't even notice. My what friends, is, oh, it's Mitra. oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I, can I? Uh, is it just where? What else am I fighting? Is it just this guy? I could do oh, no oh, I see. I understand. I okay, 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 okay. I understand. I understand. I understand. Hello. I faced the wrong way. Are you okay? Ah, that's huge. If this is the only way. He better not. He better not. I shall silence the beasts of the air. Thank you. Continue onward. Thank you, Vitra. Oh my god! That thing is huge! That thing is huge! Terminus Idolizer? Yo. They got idols in here? They got K-pop idols in here? Deadly tentacles? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Can I keep going? a bad idea. Should I not be doing a big pull? You know what? We'll stop it right here. We'll stop it right here. Oh, I fucked that up. Designs for these monsters are so fucking cool. So cool. Ah! Okay, here we go. Oh man, I don't want to watch you transform, bro. No, no, no. Oh. oh that's right. I can't entirely be opposed to this. No, no, no to despair. What's no to despair? I'm gonna pop this just in case. Okay. Mouth off? Hey, yo. Uh, what is that? What is that? Whoa! Ah! Oh! Ooh! Oh! Whoa! Oh! What is that? Why? Why? What? What? What do I do? Why? Why is happening? Oh! Go on a go on a closed mouth. Okay. 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 Oh fuck. Ah. Okay, mouth off, okay. Okay, so go on the closed mouth. One that's not talking, okay. What is left? That is left, okay. Did 
do the right thing there? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, lost hope. What the fuck is lost hope? Let's see. Oh, this thing. Oh, this thing. Oh, God. Okay. I'm so... Shout out to Fall Guys. I know how to do this now. Um... What was Lost Hope again? Is that the big one? Oh, it's this. Fuck, okay. Oh, nice! Good shit! Good shit! I'm kind of slaying. What is this vile presence I sense? I don't know. What, what are you sensing? The whole draweth near. Be on your Kind of late. It probably should have popped earlier, but that's okay. Oh, no, no, please, no! Oh, mommy! No! Ah, uh, no, no! Oh, goddamn, mm, mama! Hello, mama! Oh wait, no! Oh no! Please don't! Please don't kill them!
Look, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Everything is absolutely fine. Everything is absolutely fine. What could possibly go wrong? See? We're fine. Gain is so sexy. Gain is such a sexy healer. Gain kept my ass up. What is that? What is that? Oh uh, well. It's like trunk coming out of its butt it looks like it looks like if you took pussy lips spread it open and then like made the clit really really swollen I don't I can't explain the, the trunk though but it's like a swollen spread open vagina So, um, yeah, that's where I'm going with that. <laughs> All right, ready? Meaning with destruction, what's that? What was that? Oh, did it, oh, did it make the, okay. Holy water? What's this? Okay. Ether siphon? What is it doing? <gasps> it's an elephant head! It's an elephant head! Okay, knockback. Okay, noted. That's fucked. That's fucked. Am I safe here? Am I safe here? Okay, what was this? I feel like I missed a mechanic. I feel like I fucked something up. Okay, I don't, okay. Go in the water when the big AOE happens. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, so this? Am I doing this right? Am I, no, wait, I'm not, I'm not. I got a bomb stack. What? Not this one? Which one? Oh, oh. Hey! 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 Mmm! Ah, I don't have it! Oh, I have dark wine! Ah! I'm full health. Why did I pop that? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, Chad. This one, ether spray? Is this when we go in one? Is this when I go in, yeah? Okay, thank you. I am understanding. God, that's fucked. This is so sad. I, I, oh my God. Ugh.
<laughs> Wait, what? I would have been okay if one of you was greedy, but all three of you? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Is this cute? Oh, <gasps> that is kind of cute. Wait, does Pepper have new earrings now? Wait. Wait! These are kind of a sleigh. I kind of fuck with those. Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. I want. I'm coming. You and Pepper have cute outfits? Thank you, Foyinski. Okay. Yeah, Pepper's a cutie patootie. She's my baby. She's my baby sugar mama, goosey mama, bomba womba zoo. Okay. Oh, these statues are so beautiful. I don't. Oh my god! They got little, like, flying demons. If that animates somehow. Little demon sperms. Demon sperms everywhere, man. We go in, we go in, we go in. This dungeon is fun so far. I actually, I'm really enjoying this dungeon. I love the, the music. I love the themes. This is fun. This is a good one. Nice. Nice. Look at all the little, the monster sperms. Oh, chat. <laughs> I like how these guys walk. The designs of these are so... Wait, did we get the, the chest that was over there, by the way? Did anyone end up picking up that chest? Oh, I guess that was what was in there already. No school for... Okay, well... Fuck me then. Not suitable for me, test test. Let Pepper have what she wants! <laughs> Let the baby take what the baby wants, okay? Okay? Do not discriminate! Ah! Discipline fist? Ayo? Yo, who trying to discipline me with their fist? The designs of all of these guys are just so cool. Too bad I have to kill them all! Because they're killing my people! Nah. No, it's not! No, it's not! Farbanu? Well, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. Oh my god, this is so cool! The sound effects are so good! Alright, okay. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, so the red flows up. Eyes on the sky? Eyes on the sky? What the fuck is happening in the sky, bitch? Wait, what is happening? Wait, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What do you mean? Why? I don't see shit! I'm so confused. I'm not understanding a mechanic and that's fine. Is it now because he's using crumbling sky? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Me and my two bone sacks? Slay. Slay. I'm killing it. You know what? I'm getting... I'm, 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 I'm doing the thing. The thing is being thung. Look, there is a reason why Kelsey made this poster for me, okay? This is literally me right now. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. Oh, do y'all have anything to say for yourselves? Mitra is close, still fighting in the skies above. Oh no, I'm scared. This must be the blasphemy they spoke of. The horrors of Amarat born anew. I'm not, I'm not look, I'm not looking forward. I'm filling out the Syra apology form as we speak. What does that mean? Wait, what do you mean by the war champ? What do you mean? I think I killed it. I think I did a great job. I think I slayed. I've said nothing toxic while you weren't looking. <laughs> you fucker. Okay. Okay. Why am I? Okay. Okay. I slayed. I may not have known what I was doing, but did we die? Well, Kelsey died. <laughs> but you know what? I didn't. <laughs> That's what matters. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know what's going to happen to Vitra. And... Man. 
Man. Okay, chat. Hold my hand. Hold my hands. I need handholds. I need to know I'm gonna be okay. That was a good dungeon though, I will say. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The fights were really easy to follow and honestly, I'm glad that I did the Fall Guy stuff because I would not have understood... I would not have understood the misdirection stuff. That was a, um, a mechanic that I learned through Fall Guys. So you know what? Shout out to Fall Guys. <sighs> Ready? As I feared. Mommy! What is it? The beast was there, and now it is no more. Yes? Yeah. Wait, her eyes look less foggy. Indeed. We saw it plain. Oh. But. Oh. You didn't, did you? Oh. I saw nothing. Not the blasphemy that perished here, nor the other men turned beasts. And because of this, I now see all too well. There is no ether. Where the creatures should be, I saw naught but emptiness. Emptiness? But that would mean... Recall the words of the Watcher. Twas a stagnancy of ether, a cessation of flow leading to decay and absence that led the ancients to conclude their star was dying. <coughs> this is the same phenomenon. The instant these people are seized by the transformation, their ether begins to rot and crumble away like dried mud. Until, from their corporeal forms to their very souls, naught remains. Oh no, that is uh, not good. With its dying breath, surely at least a sliver of the man it was endured. Mayhaps so, but even if the process was incomplete, it was little more than a faint residue. Got to be good. You're saying they cannot be saved. Not by any means known to me. Or by any means at all, like as not. But Girl, and you're the smartest say. one here. Come on. <laughs> they return not even to the ethereal sea. This is so sad. They're literally just gone, though. Vija, hello. Please don't. Please don't turn. The beasts rage on, their hunger insatiable. Even deprived of their master, they perpetuate his legacy of hate. Once proud sons and daughters of Thavnir, all of them. And now I spill their blood. <coughs> Vitra, my friends, I am heartened to see you safe. <coughs> you put your secret at risk. Those closest to me already know the truth. A truth I must now share with one and all. Vitra, calamity has come to Razatan. Our fair nation is rent by screams of pain and despair. More than ever, we require a strong leader to shepherd us through the storm. 
Reveal your true self to our people, Vitra, and guide us to salvation. What madness is this, I one? Thou dost forget thyself. Were we to reveal our duplicity, it would do naught but foster confusion and chaos. Nay, I shall remain the Satrap's loyal ally, and do battle with the beasts. Easing hearts and leading the people to safety is thy task, and thine alone. I ask that you remain at Ahewan's side, and render unto him what aid you may. I know not what lies ahead, but without you, Radzeta will not survive. Bro, I will save my people, do not worry. <laughs> Take me with you. I am as at home fighting in the air as I am on land. Take me with Slay. you. Slay. Were my words unclear, I require no assistance. Justinian's dragon boner is going off. Justinian, here. It's the last thing you ever wanted. A link pearl. We'd gain much from knowing your elevated perspective. And it'll keep you from getting lonely, which I know you love. <laughs> 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 You heard the man. Seems I'm coming with you after all. Did he put the link pearl on his butt? Why did he put it on his ear? Then I pray thy grip is iron. Be it on thy head if thou dost chance. Yo, forget to fall. gorilla grip. I'm looking for that iron grip. Alright? Fair enough. Now, shall we? I did not watch the end scenes. I was actually supposed to. I was going to do that before this, but I got so anxious. <laughs> I fear it is as Vitra says. We will not survive this on our own. While I am loath to impose upon you again. I would insist if you did not. It is the very reason we have come. Mm. Then once more I find myself without words to Bro. thank you properly. His voice Let us actor? return to the capital and plan Holy our next course of action. Fuck. It's like just melts. Melts in my ears. Wait, is there another dungeon? What are we doing now? How are we just vibing now? That's it? Now we're just chilling? Lax, thank you for the gifted subs. Vlad, thank you for the gifted subs as well. Thank you. And ha cha 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 cha. Thank you for three month three sub. Thank you. So everybody got gifted a sub. Welcome back to the company. Hope your badger months and your stay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man. All right. Let's see what Iowan, Iwan has to say. Bro, the a raw dude? This dude? Kind of fun. <gasps> Lux, thank you for five more gifted subs. Stop it. To everybody, once again, they got gifted a sub. Welcome to the country trip at Jamaica City State. Thank you. Did we just hit a hype train? Are we at level two hype train? What are we at? What are we at? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get some hype into Oh, we just finished a level one. I'm out here. Have a good stream. Bye. Take care. Have a good evening. The city looks fine to me. Yeah, everything seems fine and dandy. Nothing wrong could possibly... Oh my god, you're right. That height difference. Maybe... Maybe Pepper... Maybe Pepper's changing her type. Maybe she no longer wants cat boys. Maybe, um... Uh... Mansion! Mansion, thank you for the five gifted! Hello! Thank you so much! To everybody that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your batch of months and your stay. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are we at 555 five, five yet? I don't know. We just got 13, 16, 17, 18. Did the sub goal update at all since the start of stream? You know, let me refresh it. Girl, how do you have on 10 in Miami? Maybe she's into Aura, whether tall or well boobed. Oh, she loves the well boobed uh, dragon girlies. Specifically, one named Tess. <laughs> Thank you, Perfect Calm. Appreciate it. Cat boys are out. Bad dragons are in. Don't kill me. Our radiant host has eliminated the immediate threat to the city, though it pains me to know those beasts were once my own people. There's no telling when or where the tra next transformation might occur. We must remain vigilant and steel ourselves for whatever is yet to come. Yay! Piss die! <laughs> I mean... Shop selling price restricted? What do they mean by restricted? You know what? Let's get the raisin brown dye. You may now enter Venice, but oh yeah, 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 now I can go into the dungeon. Slay! The blasphemy unmasked. Iwan's burden is heavy indeed, yet he need not bear it alone. Forgive me, my friends, but I must return to... Oh, I forgot about the Megaduta? For the time being. There, I can better manage this crisis and dispatch my troops as the situation demands. In that case, we shall carry out an investigation for our own city, for our own here in the city. Mayhap the residents can tell us more about the first of the transformations and the conditions under which it occurred. If you can ascertain which, what exactly triggered these tragic events, oh, I forgot my accent, it may give us some insight as to a possible solution. Time is of the essence. Let us split into three groups that we may cover more ground. Alize and I will see We'll see it to Pax's path. Thank you, Stella. Pray make for Dharma. <gasps> I leave Arthur to Graha and you, Pepper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Me and my wife. Me and my wife just going on a little journey together. Any information you can gather on the first blasphemy or the manifestation of the final days here in the city would be most helpful. When we have completed our respective inquiries, let us reconvene in front of Megaduta that we might share what we've learned with the, sa with the satrap. 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 Zach, hello, hello. And Walker is going very well. I see someone over here. Is that Bishop? Hello, Bishop. You just chilling? You just chilling here alone on the little step? Oh, man. I hope this ends well. Everything's gonna be fine, right, chat? Everything is gonna be okay, right? Right? I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be okay. Oh shit, we are eight subs away from the sub goal. Slay. Oh, pfft. we are now seven subs away. Getting out sub baby for adoption. Also, the actor strike just ended. Sag after sag after after I reached a deal. Oh fuck yeah. Also, hello Addy. How are you? More like end well, am I right, chat? Yo, end sprinter over here. All right, let's talk to Grahatia, my wife. Shall we be off then? Arthur is home to the High Crucible of Alchemia, whose alchemists forge many of our warding scales. That seems as good a place as any to begin our investigation, don't you think? I spoke briefly with Nuhadin, the chief alchemist there, on our last visit. He should be happy to answer our queries. Rachi has now accompanied you. Keep him at your side in order to receive your quest objectives. Yee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I bring sweet boy with me. Let's go, sweet boy. Ah! I love him. I love him. I do. I do. I do. I do. Maybe maybe I love cat boys again. I lied. I just, I love them so much. Look at the way his tail wiggles. Ah. Hello, adorable. Is everyone just vibing? Is everyone just chilling? There's a Keaton. There's a Tess. Staring at a wall with her titties out, no less. I love that for her. I love that for me. <laughs> Temple, thank you for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. 
appreciated. Everybody, welcome back to the coven. I hope you're a badger emotes and your stay. Catboys versus bald elf streamer can't choose. More at 11. Look, it's not my fault, okay? It is not my fault that everyone in, fa in fantasy games are hot as shit, okay? Hello, Nuhadeen. Ah, I remember those red eyes. You were w with those scions who commissioned the scales from us, yes? I welcome you back to the High Crucible. What brings you here in these troubling times? We are assisting the satrap in investigating the crisis that plagues the city. Did you happen to catch sight of any of the creatures? I did. And as I was going about my work, I was disturbed by crashing footsteps so powerful that the very ground shook. I rushed outside and could not believe what I beheld. The night sky was burning. Suddenly, I heard panic screams coming from the direction of Balshan, of Balshan Bazaar. The next instant, a monstrous beast poked its head out from amidst the stalls. A handful of the Radiant rushed to the scene, only to be sent, sp uh, sent sprawling as the fiend and its minions propelled themselves skyward. So the blasphemy came from the vicinity of the markets. This knowledge may prove useful. I thank you for sharing your tale. Oh, hello, Union. Union, Union, Union. Well, I do believe we know where we should inquire next to the bazaar, then. Alrighty. Which way is that? Oh, we have a little dialogue right- Oh my god, I, there's no way I'm yawning right now. I can't wait for the Hroth lady. It's gotta be hot as fuck. Oh my god. Do we have any, like, concept art for them or anything like that? Twitter brought me here. Hello, Devin the Doctor. <gasps> Hello, Dagmar. Hello. Alright, where are we going? We're going this way. Yes, no, the speculations on what they look like in other FF games. Oh, so they do exist then. Oh, a test. It's a test. It's another test. Playing spot the test. We're playing Where's Waldo, but with Tess. Who's Ronzo? I have a screenshot on the face of my launch. We got a 20 feet in the air. What? What do you mean by that? He was bugged the fuck out? That's hilarious. Just grow her things. Just grow her things. All right, Rodvira. Rodvira. All right, let's speak with them. Tentes, thank you for the tier three two year reset. Welcome back to the Covenant of Badgermonts and your stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sisters of Mercy, what is happening to the world? What am I to do? Is nowhere safe? Settle down, friend. The danger has passed, at least for now. If it's not too painful to remember, could you tell us what you saw? First, I heard the screams, then a horde of ravening beasts came charging towards us. One of them was huge, bigger than a Merid. Merid? Throwing people about like ragdolls, and it was eating them. I hid under the counter, saw others do the same. But the shrieking and wailing kept getting louder. More voices in the thong. More voices in the throng! <laughs> Yo, the thong started speaking, bro. Those mouths? Those fucking mouths, bro? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Mouthy as fuck. Alright, let me look up Ronzo. Oh, and they're also called the Ron. So the Horoths are called Ronso and Norvrent? Oh. oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, I looked it up. I looked it up. Oh! Ooh, mm, mm. Chat? Chat. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's like if femros were furries. And I need it. And I need it. 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 Like, I love me, Amiko. But God 
fucking damn. Look at those boobas. Look at those eyes. Look at the little fluffy soft ears. The toes. I can't believe I just said the toes. <laughs> you had a you had a panic attack today, dentist? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Looks like Syra IRL. Thank you, I think. <laughs> Hello, Mist. Get the credit card ready, cause we all swapping. Oh my god, army of hot uh Hroth ladies. But the shrieking and wailing kept getting louder. More voices in the thong. I, <laughs> I'm not, you know what? I'm not even gonna correct it. Beasts or victims, I couldn't tell. I knew not what was happening. I still don't. That is enough, my good man. You're brave to share with us your tale. Many of your fellow merchants are safe. The High Crucible, too, has survived, mostly unscathed. Pray stay close to your friends and loved ones, and rest your body and mind while you're able. Hmm. All right, we have an audio cue thing over here on this side with the boy. So we'll talk to this guy and then go pick up that. Zaytaner? Is something the matter, Traveler? If you are lost, perhaps I could be of assistance. Your offer is much appreciated, but we are not lost. We are in need of information. Might you know anything about the gargantuan beasts that rampage through the bazaar? Aye, I saw it all, though I wish I had not. I was going about my work when all of a sudden a piercing scream cut through the air. I turned around and there was the fiend, its massive body bursting through that entryway with the force of a tidal wave. Then it was gone as quickly as it came. All right. Who is the enemy of this game? Like, of, of Endwalker? Because we fought Zodiac very early and that scares me. Do you know what I mean? Something's coming and I don't know what it is. I just know that I'm very fucking scared. Discuss the textile stalls. Stupid Grahatia. According to Nuhadin, the blasphemy came from the direction of Balsan Bazaar. Let us inquire that. Girl, we already did that. So this is Thabnarian weave. I must say, it bears a resemblance to the traditional fabrics of Corpos. Small wonder, really, given that it's just across the water. Not that I am much of an expert in Corvosi culture, of course. I've not had the occasion to visit my ancestral home since coming to Charlien, and like as not, I will, ne I will never reside there again. That said, in recent days, I felt more acutely aware of my heritage. I'm grateful for it. It is thanks to my forebe forebears that I inherited the royal eye, and with it, the wisdom of ancient Alug. And so, well, I simply hope that my countrymen are safe. And one day, when this calamity is but a memory, I would like to see Corvus again, if only once. Okay, well now I have to write fanfic of us going there. I just, I have to. I have to. I have to. Oh, I love my wife. Okay, okay. All right, this I think is the last one. Barsra, forgive me, but my shop's closed until further notice. Needless to say, we've more pressing concerns these days. We have, we have come not in search of words, but information concerning the enormous fiend that tore through the bazaar. Did you perchance witness anything? Afraid not, my friend. I was here the whole time, so I only saw his little minions. I made a mess of the place they did. While that was all going on, the great one, the great big ones were through the west side of the bazaar. You'd have better luck like, asking at the west side of the bazaar. And with that, I do believe we've learned all we can from the bazaar. Let's take a moment to review our findings. Accompany Grahatia to designate a location and then speak with him. All right. Fanfic vacay? Yes! Look, every... Every, like, OC needs a little, like, vacation AU, okay? They all need that little, like, AU fanfic where everything is fine and everything is dandy and everything is happy and it's very healing, okay? Alright? Like, high school AU and then, like, shopping, like, the shopping montage and all that shit. I'm gonna give Graha a beach episode, exactly. I'm gonna give Graha a vacation. Hello, Kieran! Hello! I love your coat vibes. I love it. Judging by their accounts, the transformation had already occurred by the time the beast reached the bazaar. It tore through the west side of the bazaar and headed towards the Etherite Plaza. In other words, the blasphemy may have first appeared in this vicinity. That being the case, the people in that Mayhane. That Mayhane? Can surely tell us more. Wait, where are we going? Where are we going now? This way? Okay. 
Wait, I want to see your fucking coat. Get back here. I want to see your coat. Wait, your coat is sick. Look at this coat, chat. You a gunbreaker? You are. It's fucking sick. Oh my god. Dommy, mommy. Look how tall you are. I go up to your boobies. I go up. I go right here. I go right there. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Very good shit. Thank you. Thank you for blessing me. I really appreciate it. You have that coat? It's fucking dope. It's so dope. It is a cool coat. I love it. it. I feel like it would like Pepper would fuck with it. Like she'd look so good in it. <gasps> Prince Charming, how are you? Girl, just watching you motorboat her. Yeah, with like heart eyes. It's been like, oh, my wife. <laughs> the 90 gunbreaker says just chef's kiss. Yeah, bro, it's sick. Alec, it looks fucking dope. Is that how I do this? My cousin was riding a high school at U of their Warrior of Light and mine as well. It was wholesome. No, they never finished it. Gotta heckle them. Heckle them into finishing. Fearful here. Oh, this is a beautiful view. Well, not beautiful, but you know. You know what I mean. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, slay. Wait. Going after that enormous beast, are you? Aye, I saw it. Including the very instant that poor bastard transformed. Ooh! Damn it, the gods were putting me there. I saw it over there by the window. A few men. Merchants, probably. Talking and drinking. Conversation must have taken a turn for the worst. Next thing I know, the leader, I suppose he was, buries his head in his hands. The black mist was swirling about him. Then his whole body bursts apart and there's a hideous, slavering beast. Massive and foul. All gaping maws and bulging eyes. His friends start shrieking and the black mist comes again until the change takes them too. Stuff of nightmares, I tell you. Nightmarish indeed. Incidentally, do you pretend to know who those merchants were? No, I'm a decorator by trade. Not much cause to mingle with that with their sort. Some healed the barmaid chatting with them though. Chatting with them though. She might know something. Barmaid? Hello friends. Hello friends. Do I speak with you? Oh. Wait, they told me that they told me that you might know them. Why can't I talk to you? I, hmm, huh? Oh, pardon me. I was just. Anyway, take a seat wherever you like. We're open for business as per usual. Sus. Very suspicious. Very, very, very suspicious. Very, very, very suspicious. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Even after repairing all that damage, it'll take a while for business to pick up again. You mean the blasphemy? This is the radiant I've been calling it anyway. I saw it too. We all did. I was standing at the counter as Mareed. Mareed? 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 Poured me a drink. And suddenly there came this dreadful sound, like a pained, angry groan. It was unlike anything I've ever heard. I turned around in shock, and from a no from an ominous cloud of black mist rose the creature, enormous and ghastly to behold. I saw what happened next. To recall it sends shivers up my spine. By some stroke of fortune, I was able to slip outside before the beast got its claws on me. But the sight that greeted me offered no solace. No solace. The blue sky above turned red as blood. Mariah and myself and the other survivors clung to each other for dear life until the radiant host came to our aid. Wait, show you correctly. The beast manifested before the sky began to burn. <gasps> did. I'm certain of it. The windows here offer a clear view of the sky, and I saw nothing of the ordinary until the beast appeared and began to rage. But what, but what does that entail? Does that mean... Are you hypothesizing that more places in the world are... Oh my god, Ishgard. And... El Amigo. Weren't there people turning? Eulis? Oh my god. And the person at the Forgotten Night? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The world the world is a disaster. Okay, let's go to Mahil now. Oh my god. 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 Oh, we have a cutscene. Oh, fuck my ass. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Mar uh, Maraid's Mahane. 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 What can we get you? We have come not for uh, libations, but rather for information. You are Mahil, yes? 
We are investigating the so-called blasphemy on the satrap's behalf. We hear it was one of your customers, a merchant, that first underwent the transformation. What can you tell us about him? He... he was something of a regular here, especially of late. She's so pretty. Kalzal was his name. He ran his own consortium, dealing primarily in the exports of Thabnerian specialties. Oh. What? I was gonna say I know that name! I was literally going to just fucking say I know that name. Wasn't the guy... He was an... Was he an Aura? And then it was the elephant dude that wanted to sell fish? And like we were trying to get him to approve of the fish guy? Or something like that? Something like that, right? Real question? Oh yeah, sorry, hot chocolate. How many fish did Cyrus sell? Oh, I think I sold nothing. I literally think I sold zero fish. I'm pretty sure I failed. Damn. Damn. It's through him we met Matsya. Yes, the name rings a bell. Didn't you meet them both on your first trip to Thapna? I did. If I recall correctly, Kalzal ran a trading operation in Yedlamad, and it was there that you made Matsya's acquaintance. Yes, this is that, that is the same Kalzal, no doubt. Rather successful man for what I gather. That said, it was clear that he had fallen on hard times of late. Those ghastly towers popping up everywhere could not have been good for business. Even now, with the towers gone, the collapse of the empire has led to all sorts of problems elsewhere. The market for luxuries is surely not what it once was. Trying times with the head of a trading consortium, indeed. Kalzal was a compassionate man. Even as his own business suffered, he did what he could to provide for the artisans, fishermen, and many other who counted on him to sell their wares. Indeed, that was the very topic of yesterday's meeting, as far as I could hear. Yet, as they discussed matters further, Kalzal's tone grew grave and grim. It was then that... that... Forgive me, I would not have you recall the memory if it brings you pain. If I could, I would just ask one more thing. Did you notice anything unusual about Kalzal in particular? Please, anything at all. Sorry, nothing springs to mind. Perhaps someone else can help you. Kazal lived for his work. He hadn't had no family that I know of. His employees and associates knew him best, but they are too lost to us. Huh? Still, perhaps his neighbors know something I do not. I can direct you to them if you believe it would help. What do you say? I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I guess we're going. Na -na -na. The world ending because he didn't sell fish feels like boomer propaganda. <laughs> no, but actually. No, but actually. Maybe if I just sold fish better. Amidst the apocalypse. Kalzal made his home in Kama, a re nearby residential area. From what I gather, Kalzal lived there since childhood and was known throughout the neighborhood. Kama, the name is new to me. How do we get there? Dude, I want a residential area here so bad so I can buy, like, Pepper a home here. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if Pepper had a little home in Thabner? Look at these bangs. I gotta trim them some more, I think. Do you think the bangs would look better if they were, like, above my eyebrows? Like this? Do you have your lore being in Thabner? I do. So Pepper, um... Pepper grew up in Thavnir. That's um, that's her whole shtick. So, let's talk about Pepper. So, Pepper, um, I don't have it like fully fleshed out because I'm not done with Endwalker. And in case like new things come up, I want to make sure that, you know, things are like cohesive. I don't want to have to con like continue changing her lore over and over. But so, here, let's go full screen for this. So, um. Pepper's uh, tribe, her Miko tribe, they're from Thavner. And they're a very poor tribe, tribe, um, but like they get along, you know what I mean? Like they're fine, but still poor. 
Um, and she has a mom, a brother, and a sister. I still don't know if I want Pepper to be the middle child or not, but her brother is the eldest, and then um, either her sister will be younger than her or, like, the middle child. I don't know. I don't know yet. I think Pepper might be the middle child. I think I might have that. Um, and Pepper wanted to go to Charlian to better master the arcane arts and somehow be able to provide for her family. But Pepper was not able to get into the school there, and so instead she went to Limsa Laminsa to study there. So so Pepper had like a, she had a sorority girl moment. Um, and that's like basically it. Um, but Pepper's family, like they're all back here. And I didn't want to flush it out too, too, too much because again, like I didn't know what would happen later in, in, in Endwalker. But I did decide that, you know, that would be the lore. And so then coming to this moment in the game, with Thavner being on fire, and the idea of, like, Pepper's family turning into these monsters. It's just, it's good. It's really good. It was meant to be. Yeah, Limsa is also, like, was my starting spot because I did pick Arcanist at the beginning. Even though, like, I don't even play Summoner anymore and Pepper is, like, entirely a Dark Knight, um, I still wanted to keep that as part of her lore. Even though I don't like Limsa, I don't like going there, I'm always in Gridania instead. Gridania or Ishgard, or Foundation, basically. Um, yeah, I was like, you know what? I, I did do, I did pick Arcanist. I was in Limsa for a long time. I may as well, like, you know, keep it in her, uh, keep it in her lore. So, yeah, that's the pepper lore. Very simple, not too cuckoo bananas, but yeah, she the baby. She the baby. And her story, I feel like, is just getting sadder and sadder and sadder, and it's killing me. One sec. Alright, ready? I'll write down some directions. Oh, thank you. Yes, let's go find the neighbors. I cannot promise that you will find what you seek there, but if nothing else, it is a start. More like Dork Knight? Yes. Yes. Pepper gets lost in Limsa. Oh no, that's gonna be the name of... That's gonna be the name of a nasty AU um, <laughs> fanfic. Okay, come. Let's see where this leads us. Alrighty, I got my boy with me again. Hello, friends. Ooh, I love these stools. I want one. I want. I want the stool. Oh, can we chit chat somewhere over here? Oh, it's right there. I didn't even see that. Cum lips birthplace. Oh no, not the cum lips. Not the cum lips. I'm from Ulda all the way. Oh my god. The quicksands. Hello. Ask for directions. Thank you. Let's see. After the main. Whatever. We have to retrace our steps and head back towards the Etherite Plaza. Alright. Let's go, babes. Let's go, babes. Chat, there's no way I'm already tired. Hello, it's Fippy. Oh, I'm so tired. <gasps> oh, it's a test. She's buying things. She's discussing things. I know. I had a busy day. I went to, um, I went to HomeSense and I bought a, a lot of new stuff for my for my home, which makes sense. But uh, but yeah, and I'm like pooped. I wish I took like a nap today, but I hung out with Emmy, Emmy Juju, good friend of mine. Um, so it was totally worth it. But like, I am so sleep. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my sparkling water from the fridge and maybe the fizz will like keep me. I would make coffee, but I'm picking the wrong merchants to talk to. Yeah, because I can't see them, but I love that. I love to think that Tess is just staring off into the distance. I know, I need things to pop off. You're right. Well, we've already been live for almost two hours, so that's a sleigh in my books. Okay, chat? What if I just drank hot sauce? Explaining her grand scheme to a nearby spider. <laughs> I'm 
here, we ascend the stairs. Which ones? These ones? No. Yes. Zach, thank you for the eight month resub. I appreciate it. I'm back to watch you cry. Oh, chat. Who thinks I cried yet? Did y'all did y'all catch anything? Or am I in the clear? Because I definitely didn't cry. I did get close. I did get close. At the beginning of the... Didn't you cry inside? Vanaspati? I mean... Vanaspati? Whatever. I did a little. <laughs> I did a little. Maybe. Dentist! Dentist, thank you for the 10 gift ruse! Thank you so much to everybody that got gifted this up. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge, your most, and your stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dentist. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, let's update that sub count. I mean, I did cry. I did cry at the family turning, but like, because we were immediately in combat, I, the tears didn't drop. So does that count? Like the tears did not descend, but does that count as a cry? Yes, it counts. Fuck. Hey, look, I gotta ask chat. Chat, if I cry, is it a cry count? <laughs> well, I gotta know if, 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 if foggy eyes counts. True, even if my makeup didn't run, I still got, I still got sad. No, that, that dungeon was so good, but it was so fucked up. It was so fucked up. The last thing I wanted to see not even just was like um the characters turning but it was all the dead elephants all the dead hathis i don't remember what their like race is in game but seeing all the dead ones seeing the dead baby one the dead baby one by its mother Can you use decimals like 0 0.5 for foggy eye? No, nah, we'll just do a full. <laughs> yeah, it's so sad. It's so fucking sad. I love it though. I like the pain. I just wish it didn't hurt so much, you know? God. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't even cry when that girl in Shadowbringers turned, remember? The one who was helping out that that poor boy, I forgot his name. I really forgot his name. But you know what I'm talking about, right? The Aura Kid. Tesleen, yes. That was her name. I didn't even cry when that happened. I literally went, whoa, that's so cool. I was literally amazed. I was like, whoa! Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> yeah, they killed her off quickly, but it was cool. It was censored. They wanted to make it more gory. Oh, I wish they did. I wish they did. It was so cool. <laughs> It was so fucking cool. I mean, it was the welcome to Shadowbringers moment. I do actually remember people in chat being like, well, that's Shadowbringers for you. Everyone said something along those lines, which was very funny to me. And it made sense. Shadowbringers tossed me around like a rag doll and I was into it, honestly. It was good shit. Shadowbringers is a fucking good x pack. I wish I could play it again. I wish I could go through Shadowbringers again for the first time. Well, they censored it for the rating. Cowards. Ah, this must be huge. Huge, huge. Oh, it's huge. 
In which case, we should take the path leading southeast. Okay. Do 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 I just want a home here. I just want a home here so bad. We get going this way, we should arrive and come up before long. Walking is unfamiliar streets is quite the adventure, is it not? I can only hope we I, we can explore Rad's Ahana our leisure once this crisis has passed. Once? You mean if God. If this doesn't go well, chat, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, but I'm on a little romantic walk with my wife? I can't complain. I mean, who isn't into crying their eyes out of a video game? Honestly, if a video game doesn't make me feel some type of emotion, I'm not into it. And I don't just mean rage. Like, you, ha I have to be really happy or I have to be crying, you know? I need the drama. And this must be karma. We've arrived at last. Let us begin questioning the residents without delay. No doubt someone here can tell us more about Kalzal. Given recent events, I imagine many are taking shelters indoors. Alright, let's go find some people. Now, 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 now. Astra, hello. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, it's so pretty here. Okay, what do wh where are we gonna find people? Do I just have to walk into people's homes or something? Can I? Oh, I can. Nice. Very nice. Hariga? Hariga? Hmm? Could you come back another time? I just woke up and I'm not exactly in the mood for idle chit chat. Well, that's one way to avoid the panic, I suppose. Pardon our intrusion. You may not have noticed, but a great danger has come to Thavner. I encourage you to stay alert and prepare to flee the city should the situation turn dire. But before we leave you in peace, pray allow us to ask a question or two. Do you know a local merchant named Kozal? If so, do you notice anything unusual about him recently? Kozal? Aye, I know him. In fact, we spoke just the other day. Like many others, his business was doing poorly. Still, it seemed as though he'd managed to turn things around, thanks to a generous order from Reveda Fibers. Why, he was pr practically dancing in the streets. I haven't spoken with him since, but I assume it all went well. Jinabaha, Jinabaha, Jinababa, ba ba ba, the ba ba ba. Might be able to tell you more though. As I recall, he was the one who brokered the arrangement. Jibinaba, chipa, 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 chipa. Let's make a point to visit him after we spoke with the locals. Sounds good. Who, who this cat girl? This cat girl is cute. She's so cute. Look at her. Oh my God, she's tall. A tall cat girl. Slay. I love this. I love this for me. I love this for Pepper. Nice. What if I just played the game like this? Chat, what if I played the game like this and did dungeons like this? Would y'all still watch my stream? I feel like I'm playing Skyrim. Alright, let's see. Oh, Mati. Hello, Mati. Kalzal, you say? Yes, I've known him since he was a boy. If there was ever a man who was born to be a merchant, it was him. Always early to depart and late to return. He'd spend his days procuring the finest wares and seeking out willing customers. You could say it came to him as easily as breathing. Sadly, business was dragging of late. No surprise, really, what with how dangerous travel has become. He was cooped up in his house from dawn till dusk the other day. No doubt racking his brain for a way to turn his fortunes around. <laughs> then at night, I heard the door open. I looked out to see Kalzal sitting on a bench. His head hung low. A man with the weight of the world on his shoulders. I see. The situation must have been quite dire indeed. Do you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing to speak of. Other than the troubles with the consortium. He was the same old Kalzal. Cordial and honest, like always. These questions you are asking. <laughs> Has something happened to him? He wasn't caught up in that terrible incident at the bazaar, was he? I don't travel much these days, but my daughter has told me to not to venture outside. Stuck in here as I am, I've heard little about these bazaars, bazaar going ons, goings on. Rest assured, the city is safe for now. The situation may change without warning. I urge you, stay close to your daughter and be prepared to take refuge. The satrap order it. I get motion sick. Yeah, no, I'm hating this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Did it once for a stream goal? It was chaos? Oh my god, I should make it a stream goal. I should absolutely make it a stream goal. You starting to sound like Helga? Hi. My name is Helga. 
here I am. I'm at the lake with my friend. And we had a long, long, long day. Oh, I love Helga. Helga is an icon, a legend. Ben Daniels VA was streaming this in first person for fun at the whole spawn. <laughs> you know why people are getting mad about it? Damn, that's so funny. Does anyone actually play this game in first person? Like actually play it through in first person? When y'all play Skyrim, do you prefer first person or third? When I play, when I play Skyrim, I do honestly kind of like it in third person, but I go between both, honestly. If there was a field of view slider, maybe I would. Fair. Yeah. Back and forth, I find, is the way to go for Skyrim, personally. It would make you extremely sick. Which game? This one or Skyrim? Fun Daniel doing the most Fun Daniel thing as a slag. Wait, is his username Fun Daniel? I think someone gifted him a sub to my stream once upon a time. Oh yeah, no. I can already tell that this game would like fuck with my head. I do prefer it in third person, but it could be a fun stream goal. Like it could very well be a fun stream, <coughs> stream goal. I'm not mistaken, these stairs lead to Dharma. Oh, what are we looking at? It is quite the sight, the red sky above. During the final days of yore, the heavens burned and the stars fell. Creation magics run amok. That was my assumption when I saw Amarot. Perhaps the ancients believed the same, that the terror of a single powerful individual was the cause of their calamity. I'm honestly very, very, very nervous to see where this plot point goes. Because at this point, I actually don't know where it's going. I don't know what's like what's to come and that scares me it really feels like it feels like I don't know what's happening does that make sense it feels like there's a lot missing and it's leading to a ton of confusion <laughs> you know what I mean like I am like I like I'm following the story fine but it feels like Pepper is confused. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't really know how to, des how to describe how I'm feeling. But I'm trying here. Valid. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're staring down the barrel of the final days. We have no idea who or what is holding the gun. Yeah! No, that's exactly it. Like, I don't know, like, I feel like I don't know who the fucking enemy is. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, shit is hitting the fan. But, like, who is shitting at the fan? You know? Y'all want to see a really cute picture of Aldo? Dailies! Oh my god, yeah, I haven't seen you in so long! I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the three-month resub! Y'all have to see this picture of Waldo. Y'all have to see this picture of Waldo. It was raining today, right? Like, raining and hailing. So I took him out in his raincoat, and he would not have a body. He not have a body. He would not have a body. Ready? Man. He not happy about it. Dippy boy. Dippy 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 boy. He looks so sad. He looks so sad. He looks so sleepy. His face is all droopy. He got one ear tucked away in his hood. Baby. My big teddy bear. 
<laughs> like, here, look at this one too. <laughs> he looks so funny. I love Waldo. Waldo's gonna save the day. He's gonna be what brings peace to Thavner. <laughs> and yet, the selfsame horrors now manifest themselves before our eyes. What could it be that sets the heavens aflame and turns ordinary men to beats? I don't know, Grahatia. I don't know. I'm wondering the same thing. Oh! It's a wild gin! Wait, is he a cat boy again? Oh my god. He's a cat boy again. Pepper can simp peacefully. Oh my god, Catboy Jin has returned. Oh, oh, am I having a wife off? Am I having a wife off right now? I'm having, there's a wife off going on. Dig up with the kiss, Wee! Yeah, Jin was a bunny. Jin turned into a bunny boy and it was disgraceful. Absolutely fucking disgraceful. Hello. I know. They're making you a catboy sandwich? Oh, fuck yeah. Squish me in there. I went from bunny boy to cat girl to lollafell. Okay, honestly though, honestly though, I, I want to be a lala so bad, but Pepper is like the cat girl. I'm thinking Jin is winning the wife off. He is, you know why? Because like we also match. Where's my fit? Where's my fit? Do I still have it? Do I still have it? I do. Look. Look, we match! Look at us! Once you go Lollafell, there's like this gremlin awakening. Yeah, I have an alt that's a Lala called Wind Up Pepper. And truly, it's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing in the world. I love running around as like a mini pep. <laughs> As a bun boy, I'm offended. Well, in fairness, you were a cat boy before. Got a match on a dating website from you in Arizona and started cackling. Yes, I am now in, I'm from Arizona. I am on the dating apps there and I'm looking for a sugar daddy. It's true. Man. Anytime, like, I find a catfish of myself or someone sends me one, I just laugh. It's like I really hope no one fell for it. You know? Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. What is happening? Oh, I have two baby lalas! Hello! Hello, adorable. Hello, little jag. All right, let's get down to business. Oh, fuck my ass. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. All right. Are y'all gonna come with me for this little adventure? We're we running together. Where are we going? Wee. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Alright, let me talk to my wife. They're farming silkworms. This must be where we need fibers. Where we should find Jibidabba Jibabada. Yeah! Hoi! Found them! Cutscene. And hurry, I say. There's no time to waste. Pardon me, but you're in charge of buying and selling here, yes? You have a few cash. We have a few questions that we'd like to. I'm sorry, but I simply do not have time to chat. If you haven't noticed, we have our hands full at the moment. We must carry all our wares and equipment to safety before those accursed beasts return. Why is there beef happening in my chat? Why is there beef happening? Shut up. Just focus on FF14. Come on! <laughs> In that case, might we be of assistance? Perhaps we could speak when the job is done. Very well. Whoa, the hail just went bedonkers. 
Whoa, it is so loud. You can start by helping us move our equipment. Ask the others what to put where. Wait, I'm helping them with chores? Yo, the rain is picking up. I want cuddles. I want cuddles. You can hear it? Y'all can hear that? I thought it was my cat running on the hard floor. <laughs> no, that's... That's the rain. You can carry off fabrics. All right. I guess I'm gonna be carrying fabrics now. I hope this doesn't like fuck up my internet. <laughs> Go through that door and speak with Kam Kamala. Kamala, she'll tell you the rest. All right, where's Kamala? Remember, these textiles are a livelihood. Handle them with care. Mm. I love when you can like, when the lips clip a little bit and you can see their teethies. I like seeing the teeps. Oh, I remember running around in here. At least I think I remember running around in here. <laughs> this area's for employees only. Out, out. Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's that? You have come to help. Oh, praise be to Mind Minduruva. Minduruva, Mindur, 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 Mindur. Kind stranger, I welcome your assistance. On your way here, you passed three storehouses, yes? I'd like you to carry that small crate to Nabrifle for the storehouse near the hatchery. The crate of clothing is for Manuha. Manuha. And that massive crate there goes to Zamira by this middle storehouse. Watch your back with that one. Those are all the crates we have ready. Once they've been delivered, consider your work here complete. You'll have a limited time? Man. Man, I cannot believe they want me to do fetch quest right now. Okay, the light crate goes to to Nabrifilima. Nabrifimilima. Nabrifilimilimina. Nabrifimilimina. No. Nabrifimina. Nabrifimer. Nabr. Fred, is it? Then you come to the right place. We thank you for your aid. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. Hi, Waldo, baby. I got a puppy. Chat, we got a puppy. Do you see the puppy? Do you see the pup? Are they having a dance off? Yo, who's winning though? I don't know, man. Dagmar's got some fucking sick moves. Look at that. Mm, look at that. Mm. Ooh, adorable does too. Ooh, ooh, with the spin. Ow! I don't know. Tough competition. All right. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Ordinary crate. Which one does this one go to? Is this the medium one? This was supposed to take me a minute. Oh, I have no idea what they just said. If you have any crates of finished products, such as carpets, clothing, and the like, pray bring them here to our primary storehouse. Crate full of clothing, is it? I can take that off your hands. Many thanks for delivery. Yeah, I got you. All right now, I pick up the weighty crate. Man, this was supposed to be difficult. This is easy. Oh, is this one gonna be harder because it's heavy? Am I gonna be slow now? Oh, yeah. Oh, but come on! That still isn't even difficult. I say, you're quite the brawny one, aren't you? Good thing that. Never know you when you'll need to defend yourself in these unpredictable times. A crate full of fabrics, is it? Exactly what I was hoping to receive. Here, let me put that away for you. Look at how strong Pepper is. Pepper is built different. Pepper got guns. 
She ain't got no license for them, though. You've carried all the crates to the storehouse, you say? And so quickly, too. Why, I've never seen anyone so strong. I and my associates will see to the rest, so please return to Jibana Manapa Pana and assure him our work is proceeding apace. To tell the truth, we're grateful for this distraction. Too many trouble happenings of late, but generous souls like yourself give me hope that we may emerge from this trial even stronger. I pray we meet again in more peaceful times. I fucking hope so too, Kamala. I hope so too. This shit grim. But this is a nice break from the from the trauma, I will say. I agree. Though I'm ready to get back into hell. Yo, Chronocat, hello. Nazayas, have you? Yes, come on, If Kamala is satisfied with your work, then so am I. You have done us a great favor, traveler. <gasps> Cutscene. It's a cutscene. I too have delivered the instruments and apparatus entrusted to me. You both have my thanks. With our wares safely stored away, we'll not lose any more to those fiends. I take it that your establishment did not escape the attack unscathed. We did not. Thankfully, most of our workers had already left for the day. But those of us still here saw it all. We looked for the burning skies and or looked to the burning skies in confusion, and then, before we could even begin to make sense of it, a hideous creature burst through the door, shrieking. We ran for our lives, but one of my colleagues was not so fortunate. He cried out, a scream of such agony, such terror. In the next instant, he too sprouted fearsome claws. The sight of it caused another fellow to panic, and then, so does everyone just have to take like anxiety meds, and then they won't transform? Is that what I'm hearing? Need a break from trauma? Do manual labor. No, but actually, anytime I'm having like a bad day, cleaning helps so much. Doing chores like honestly helps with my depression and anxiety like tenfold. Bro, Pepper is a catnip dealer, okay? She's got that good good. She'll help them out. She got that gala catnip, don't worry. Pepper's got everyone covered. He too transformed. Mm. Comfy, comfy. I'm sorry. There was something you wanted to ask. Indeed. You knew the merchant Kalzal, did you not? I believe he had some dealings with your establishment. Kalzal? I know him well. We'd arranged for his consortium to deliver, blah, 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 to deliver a large shipment of fabrics, but in the end, we received a better offer and had to turn him down. I understand his business is struggling, but so is ours. Another of our most reliable trading partners agreed to transport the goods for a much smaller commission. we would have been fools to refuse. I, feel ter I felt terrible for withdrawing the offer, but you must understand, we simply had no choice. I tried to put on a brave face when I delivered the news, but his dejection and despair were plain as day. He said he'd discuss it with his associates, but I could tell he'd all but given up hope. Dejection and despair. Evil as plain as the scar on his face. <laughs> Deception and outrage, disgrace for shame. He asked for trouble the moment he came. Please tell me you know that song, chat. Please tell me y'all know that song and I'm not showing my age. I will be so disappointed with you, chat. If you can't recognize it. It's Scar's song? No! That's be prepared. Jacko knows. Lion King 2. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's um it's not one of us. It's the one that uh that uh the el the animals sing when Kobu is getting banished from the Pride Lands. <laughs> You're old, eat my butt. <laughs> How are you doing on Gala Catnip? I think I'm in the 500s still. I literally don't remember the plot of the movie. Uh, it's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, literally. It's Romeo and Juliet, but lions. The same way the Lion King is Hamlet. Do you remember what we saw in Vanaspati? Vanaspati, yes. Soldiers and jungle dwellers pu pushed to the very brink, turning into beasts one after the next. It was seen the same phenomenon occurred here. The poor craftsmen attacked by the fiends, as well as those that witnessed it, all undergoing the change. 
I suspect that everything began with Kalzal. By all accounts, it was he who suffered from the most profound and piercing despair. Wait, could that be it? That such intense emotions were what triggered his transformation? Yeah, I got a trank gun. Pew pew. Much remains unclear, but I believe we are drawing closer to an answer. At any rate, we must discuss the findings with the others. Hmm. Holy shit, you're right, it is Hamlet. Hello, Isaac! You didn't know? Wait, you didn't know that the Lion King was Hamlet? And you didn't know the Lion King 2 was Romeo and Juliet? All right, Disney Marathon incoming. Oh, I'm gonna head to bed, have a good night. Good night, dentist! Oh, I changed from Bun Boy because of the whole hat thing. Oh, because you can't wear a hat in game? Valid. Yeah, and now you're a Lala. So, you know, the second superior race. There's a Lion King too? Isaac, you did not know that there was a sequel to the Lion King? What? I bet you didn't know the Lion King 3 is a fan of the opera. Oh my god, okay. Lion King one and a half though? Fucks. Lion King one and a half is actually such a fucking good movie and I refuse to let anyone say otherwise. It is so funny, it's so dumb. One and a half? Oh my god, Isaac. Did you not know that either? Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel, quick before the hyena come. Oh my god, that was my shit. That was my shit. That was my fucking shit, chat. You don't even understand. Oh man. All right, chat, how are we holding up, by the way? How are we holding up? I'm impressed. We only got like one dink on the cry counter so far, but I'm scared. That means more is coming. They're giving me a break because I was hit like back to back to back last stream. <laughs> oh my lord. All right, let's do it, Graha. Oh my god! Anytime now, anytime I get a quest that has like an eye, like an image, I panic. I absolutely fucking panic. We're doing, yeah. The mandatory quest stalling. Oh my god, chat, are you gonna stall with me? Are you gonna stall with me? Beyond the depths of despair. Grahatia is eager to share all you have learned with your companions. Oh my god, let's go. We have to reconvene. I dropped my fucking controller. I'm so sorry. We were to reconvene. We, we were to reconvene with the others in front of Megaduta. Were we not? That should, be a bit, a bit. that should just be outside. With any luck, they will have already returned with their own investigations. Oh yeah, we're all investigating. I wonder what. The <gasps> oh no! And it's a question mark, question mark, question mark. What the fuck was that? Jesus, Jin. You scared me. Was that you? My friend, we must take our leave. I pray that your establishment is spared further tragedy. But remember, your lives are far more precious than any wares if you are ordered to flee. So do so. Do so without hesitation. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, you just changed your hair! You got a little headband! Slay! You got a little mane going! Indeed. I thank you for your concern and pray you two take care as well. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, wait, you go this way? What way do I go? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I go up. Oh, I go up. I go up the stairs. Do I go up the stairs? Do I go up the stairs? Whoa, how did you get up here so fast? I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> this is fine, not JPEG beyond the depths of despair. This is fine. Chat, this is fine. Oh, there's adorable. Just chilling in the corner. Oh, I don't like this. Everyone is freaking out. Everyone is freaking out here. Surely the satrap will offer his wisdom and guidance to us. Whatever is the meaning of this? Where is the satrap? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go, chat. I'm assuming this will be voiced. There you are. You've spoken with the survivors. Indeed. We thought to share what we have gleaned, that we might together gain a greater understanding of present circumstances. Fortuitous timing. Alize and I completed our own investigations not long ago. 
Then we should take a moment to compare notes. Shall we begin with the two of you? So the merchant Karzal was gravely concerned about his business in the days preceding his untimely end. The tales we heard were much the same. The first victims to be changed into blasphemies were all overcome with anguish of one manner or another. Then those who saw their loved ones stolen before their eyes succumbed to a similar panic setting in motion a chain of transformations. Fear, unease, despair. These negative feelings serve as a catalyst. If so, then it is not unlike the calamity that befell the ancients. With their creation magics, they unwittingly gave form to untold horrors. Had they simply lost control, Surely it would have manifested in many forms, not all of them monstrous. Yet somehow, this phenomenon is triggered solely by the darkness in their hearts, a common thread with what we now witness. Common, but not identical. While the beasts the ancients faced were forged with magic alone, those of today are born of sentient beings. And then they just poof. Why remains to be seen. But there is one fundamental difference between us and our predecessors. Our souls are sundered, whereas theirs were not. Perhaps that single variable makes all the difference. If I may, there was another detail that troubled me. We have it on good authority that Karl Zahl's transformation took place before the skies began Right! To burn. Oh my god, right! That's what we found out in the- What? In the if pub bar true, thing. Then the situation's more dire than we realized. It means even if there's no ominous sign presaging the final days, anyone, anywhere, has the potential to become a beast. Which even terrifies me. Safe, yeah! Safe. That's what I'm saying! That's what I'm saying! The rest of Eorzea could be fucked right now! <coughs> Look! It's the Sartrap! The Sartrap! <coughs> Thank the heavens! Yo, man, he's strutting his stuff. <laughs> if only I sold the fish. <laughs> My countrymen, I am relieved and heartened to see you strong and safe. While the danger has not yet passed, far from it, allow me to assure you that the beasts that raged within the city walls have been exterminated to the last. Outside this sanctuary, the brave men and women of the Radiant Host and our dragon ally continue to battle our unholy foes. I pray these tidings put your minds at ease and help you calm your hearts. Have faith that we shall soon conquer this terrible trial. Your Excellency, is there any word from Palaka's stand? My grandson was bound for there yesterday, and I, I worry for his life. We are still awaiting a report, but I promise you, as soon as I have ought to share... You... Your Excellency, I bring grave news. Oh, no. Oh, no. You are? Oh, no. I... I'm Matsya <laughs> of, of Akyal. A humble fisherman. Ah, I remember you from our first visit. Uh huh. Wait, you're. But, 
but no, that can wait. When the skies turned red, I set off for Palakas stand, fearing for the safety of a friend. But as I drew near the village, I saw dreadful beasts all about. No! Gods have mercy! Your Excellency! Save my grandson, I beg of you! We will spare no effort to save all we can, but you must remain calm. Calm? You tell me to be calm? You saw those beasts? They tore our bravest warriors limb from limb! What if we are too late, huh? Did they catch him? Stick their fangs into him? The oh, no, no, no! Oh, lady, no! Get away from her, now! Auntie no! No, Auntie G! No! Oh no, they're all gonna fucking turn, I know, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I knew it when I saw the crowd! When I saw the fucking crowd! Oh my god! There was no Damn way! It. We've got to kill them before it spreads! Oh fuck my butt! We'll handle this. See the townspeople to safety. <laughs> fuck! As fast as you can! Oh my god, he looks like a mini Emmanuel, uh, a Madeleine. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 Girl, what is sticking your hand I'm gonna do? Oh my god! Help him! Oh! Pepper, you're a dark knight! Lunge! Vitra, our people, you must. No! No! He's so hot! Please! Every fucking character I simp for dies, bro. Every single one. Pepper, wait. Oh my god. Oh, my son. He, 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 oh man. Enough. Oh my you must god. Run for their sake and your own. Oh Graha, is that gonna work? Is it gonna work? Yes. You will survive. You must. Oh, Gratia. Oh, my God. My wife. Catboy, save me. Save me, Catboy. Catboy, save me. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Fuck. Come on, then, Chrissy. Okay, mama. Queen shit. My little healer baby. <sighs> what the cat doing? What the cat doing? <laughs> What he doing? What he what he doing? Oh. Be strong, my friends. Why am I getting so emotional? Fear not, for we will defeat these abominations. Yes, yes, we will. 
Rally them! Brave men and women of Slash the Radiant rally. Host, lend your stola and thank with your aid. Let not a single beast escape. The rest of you, flee this place. Carry the wounded if you must. Let's Get go! Indoors or underground. Let's go! That's my exarch! Above all, That's my stay calm. No beast will follow you. We will see to that. Oh! oh. Alpino! Alize! Leave the city to us! And make for Palika's stand at once! Matsya, show my friends to the village! I promise you, they're more capable than the host's finest! R right! Go with them, will you? I we protect, will save these people. I, I protect as my many babies. As we can. Please don't do anything stupid. I can't lose another hot person. I cannot. I cannot. Let's go, Mr. Bridgerton. Let's go, Anthony Bridgerton. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, Emmy, I saw you in chat. Hello, Emmy, how are you? How you doing, Emmy? Can we give Emmy a quick little shout out if she's still in here? Hello, hello, I miss you, Bean. I miss your company already. I hope you're doing well, sweet Bean. How are you? Got home safely and everything? No, 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 no. Fuck. Man. 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 I'm not crying, Chad. I'm not, but that that was that was fun to watch. I was like speechless. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like that oh man. That's our cat boy. That's our cat boy. That's our wife. That's our wife. <laughs> Damn it, staying calm isn't exactly my forte. I know, babes. We must save Palakistan, whatever it takes. Matia, it pains me to put you in Tom's way, but I would ask your aid as well. Yo, are we about to be at an instance? Am I gonna fight with these stinkers? Uh, of course, Palakistan is not far, just down that hill. But as I told His Excellency before, the path was blocked by terrible creatures. I had no choice but to turn back. In that case, this is what we shall do. Bro, the music goes so hard. Like, it, this is such a good fucking beat. Like, <laughs> they went crazy recording this. They went fucking crazy. Thank you, Catfile. That's why we love our Catboy. I don't trust anyone who doesn't. I made it just in time for the best moment. Haha, <laughs> I love that so much. As soon as he gets into X-Rack leader mode. Davey, you are like the biggest uh, Graha simp I know. So you know what? I'm glad that you came in here to witness that. I hope you're doing well, Davey. Graha is the embodiment of a short king. <laughs> oh, man. Pepper, I ask that you take the lead and dispatch any beast you encounter. Alize and I will keep Matsya hidden amidst the trees and follow when the path is clear. Yes! Let's go. All right, Pepper. There's no telling what dangers await us. Keep your eyes peeled. All right, ready? Let's fuck it up. Is there a test behind me somewhere? Oh, there's a test. Go to put some if you end up needing it. Oh. Thank you, Tess. I love you, babes. All right, let's fuck it up. Let's fuck it up. Oh, this music is so good. This music is so good. It, like, I literally feel like I'm in an epic fantasy Bollywood movie. It's fantastic. It's so good. Na 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 na. Oh, are those like monstrous marbles? No, they just, they look, well, they're just normal, I guess. Oh, they're gonna spawn here. Okay, here we go. Terminus Smasher? You don't scare me. You don't scare me at all. That was so easy. That was so easy. Oh. What is right? Oh, yeah! You're like the boss! Oh, yeah! You're like the boss! Survey the area and defeat any enemies. Yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> It's 
such a good drum beat for like driving forwards. And maybe you just want to keep pushing onwards. Yeah, when I was cleaning today, I was listening to this song on repeat because like I had the game up and it was um in the bit where like I had to speak to Thancred or no, 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 um, I won. RIP, RIP the homie. And the song just kept playing and playing and playing and I was just eating it up. Shaking my little ass. So good. So good. I need it on Spotify. I need it on Spotify. Like, absolutely. It's probably my favorite part of Animark because everything fucking shocked me. <laughs> yeah, everything is like coming at me quick. You know? Everything was like kind of fun and like the, the story building was really good. But then when it hit, it fucking hit. You know what I mean? Have I attuned to this at all? I don't know. I don't think I've ever been here. Never been here. There we go. We're attuning. Chat, we're attuning. Oh, we've got another cutscene. Oh no, we got the fucking pee pee poi ping poi pee poi pee music. It it cannot be. We must heal those we can, and quickly. I see no beast, but stay on your guard. Is there like a weird cooldown on a tune? I feel like there is. Exhausted. Cure? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got you, I got you, I got you. Don't turn, don't turn. We're aiding, we're aiding, we're aiding. Though the village's injuries do not appear to be life threatening, he does not respond to your efforts. His breathing grows more ragged and shallow, and his vacant eyes are those of a man who has lost the will to live. Even if I wake, the nightmare goes on. No. Leave me to sleep. Oh. You call out, but the man does not respond. Motionless villager, oh god. The villager has no pulse, nor do they appear to be breathing. <laughs> the cooling body has already begun to stiffen. The massive wounds just the villager was gored by a terrible beast. that I, oh my god, that I went to, um, is dead. Oh, please tell me you're fine. Frightened. Okay, you're okay. Oh, I got you. Yo, let me just shove my arm in you real quick. Have you, have you come to help us? I am too late. Too late. My family, my friends. Oh. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Steer <laughs> out of three fish village. No! Leave me and my inability to sell fish alone! Fuck. Are these the only villages who survived? I could only hope others managed to flee, but if the rest have been turned to beasts by the twelve, let's do what we can to to see that the damage spreads no further. And no matter what comes, we must keep our spirits high, lest we ourselves suffer a similar fate. Man. <laughs> that we might live. Alfino is determined to offer the villagers what sucker he can. He's gonna suck them up. He's 
gonna suck him off real good. I can tend to the rest. Pray and look after Matsya. No doubt that no doubt what he has what he, what we have seen him here weighs even heavier on his heart than ours. Man, I'm in the mood to do a trial. I wanna do a dungeon or something. I wanna fuck shit up. I'm angry. I'm sad. <laughs> Oh, Peppa, Peppa. This is Yeruvet, the elder here. He is hurt, but praise be to the sisters. He still lives. Babuji! Young Matsya here has told me everything. I have not the words to express my gratitude for your aid. When the heavens began to burn, we were afraid, but did our best to carry on as we always have. Until today, when those unholy beasts came pouring into our village, a flood of midnight and death. There are no words to describe what followed. Men and women I have known since they were babes struck down by the creatures, only to rise again to join the murderous horde in the guise of those same hideous fiends. In the chaos, a handful of our villagers fled for their lives. I can only hope they have found their way to safety. Matsya, do you perchance remember... I am sure that is queef. Um, Karasov and Mevan, the young couple who always bought your freshest catches. How could I forget, Elder? When I first came to peddle my wares, desperate to eke out a living, they showed me such kindness. Others shunned me as an outsider, as is their way. But Karaf and Mevan bought my fish and sung its praises. They turned my fortunes around. Alas, I fear they are in terrible danger. I saw them running towards Agama. Agama Temple, one of those beasts in close pursuit. They had their child, still but a tiny babe, to elude these fiends while caring for one so young is an impossible task, really. I beg of you, go to their aid. Oh, I don't like this chat. I, I want to help them, yet I am but a fisherman. I cannot face beasts on my own. Will you come with me? Mm. Oh, thank you. Agama Temple lies to the west of here. We must hurry. <laughs> Emmy! Hello, Emmy! How you doing? Is this the Z zero fish route? Never seen things get this dire? Wait, I read- I know I read that already, but like, is that an actual thing? Actually, no, what? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. You know what, chat? I don't want to know. If me not be able, being able to sell this dude fish fucked everything up, then you know what? So be it. Wait, Tass, I want my Uber. Where are my Uber? Uber, boober, boober. Uber, boober, boober. Ubi, booby, booby. Yeah. Look at me and Tess on a little date. <laughs> I'm gonna chill and watch you suffer while I catch up on reading. Thanks. Thanks, Emmy. <laughs> Those three fish not being sold collapse the entire economy. It's truly, it truly is the worst timeline. I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe I failed him. I could have done so much better. If only I sold Matsya's fish. Eat the current, eat the current, eat the current. Eat the current, eat the current. Let me get the eat the current. Let me get the motherfucker. Fly. We're attuning. We're attuning. <laughs> the temple is just ahead. It was built by those who worship Saint Agama, but has sadly fallen into despair in recent years. If my friends made it this far, no doubt they are hiding somewhere amidst the ruins. Oh, please stay back! <laughs> That was Karaf. Oh no, this is not good. Wait here. Yes, I understand. The cry came from the ruins. You must hurry. Oh bitch. Oh bitch. Here we fucking go. This is fine. Chat, this is fine. This is okay. This is all right. What is the worst that could possibly happen now? Right, oh. Well, oh god, where are the others? Oh my god, can this little monkey not? 
Hanuman? They named the the monkey is named after Hanuman? That's amazing. My baby niece saw you, put your hand up hand up. She gave the screen a high five. Oh, she saw me put my hand up and she didn't Oh, that's cute. We'll give her a real high five for me. It's a Digimon. Hanuman is not a Digimon. It's the monkey god, okay? It's the Hindu monkey god. Kill Dr. Lake with the 55 month free sub! You're huge! How are you? Welcome back! Oh, Karaf is fucking dead. Oh, do you think. Do you think this is the mommy and baby? No, no way. Do you think the mommy and baby made it? I hope the mommy and baby made it. I'm sure everything is fine. What is the worst that could happen? You know? Alright, please don't actually be dead, bro. Oh, wait, is he breathing? I don't like the looks of this. We're aiding? We're aiding? We're aiding? We're aiding? man lies motionless on the ground, bearing a grievous wound. Fuck. I'm sorry, Pepper. I tried to stay behind, but I couldn't. No. It cannot be. Oh, is someone? Anyone? Oh my god. We're right here. Open those eyes! My arms so heavy and my legs I, I cannot feel my legs my wife <laughs> my wife fled with our daughter I need to find them I need to be with them I need Karasab, no! Karasab, you must stay strong! More time. I thought I had. I... <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> um... Uh, s uh... Speak to Karasab. Oh god, which one do I do? I'll just speak. I'll, do I just speak? Do I just speak? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to pick. <laughs> Better pick the right option here. Can I sell him a fish? Do you think if I sold him a fish? <laughs> um, I, I kind of want to speak to him so he doesn't feel alone. But like, I kind of want to dry his tears. But like, I don't know. I don't know what Pepper would do. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know what to pick. <laughs> if only we gave him more fish. Then maybe his bones would be strong enough and he could move. Um. I'll dry his tears.
Mavad still lives and she has their child. Wait, did I just save him? The glowing is gone! Dry your tears, a smile better suits a hero. Is it bad that that's like literally what I was thinking? Yeah, well, that's what I meant. Safe, yeah, from turning. So he's not, he's gonna die, but like he's at least not, you know, gonna turn. Like I said during the dungeon, I feel like just a death like this is is a better grace than, you know, turning into a monstrous beast. But no, that's exactly what I was thinking. I feel like maybe that's what Pepper would do. She would dry his tears and then do just hold his hand and say a smile better suits a hero. And, you know, I don't know. I don't, want to, I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that. A fish better suits a buyer. We must search the jungle between here and Palakistan. There's nowhere else she could have gone, I think. Oh, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. <sighs> Forgive me, Karasa. Once we say once we have saved your wife and child, we will turn and lay you to rest. I hope we can save them. I hope we can save them. I don't want to see another dead kid, bro. Especially if it's a baby. What the fuck? Get away from me, Otomon. Get away. Okay, bitch. Throwing fucking rocks at me. Get your ass over here. <laughs> when you stop with the beat boppin, <laughs> literally. You can turn to Ethereal C now. True. True. He doesn't just poof into nothingness. No. You see no tracks of the signs of recent travel. Nirvana the child must be elsewhere. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're looking, we're looking. You better be throwing rocks at me and not poo poo. Also, is that 78? Oh, yeah, that was. I have yet to ball my eyes out, though, chat. I've been doing pretty good. Hi, Ron. I hope it's going. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hello, monk. How you doing, monk? I still don't think my 115 or whatever is a bad guess. Do you think we're actually gonna hit the hundreds, chat? Oi, oi! Oh, this better not be one of them. This better not be one of them. It's small, it could have been. Oh, he wriggled. Okay, enemies do not look at me, do not perceive me. <gasps> All right, we're surveying, surveying. Oh, if Mavan and her daughter came to this area recently, you see no evidence of their passage. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Do you like level 74 or 75 right now? I'm level 90 on the level 85 quest. We're serving and surveying. True. D did you see any sign of them? I found nothing. Perhaps the beasts have chased them farther from the village. Fuck! Oh, gods above, I beseech you. Pray deliver Mavon and her little one to safety. Fare you below. Understood. 
I will inform Vritra. Oh, this could be so Chaos bad. Chaos and panic sweep Raz at Han. This could be so bad. The transformations. Oh, this could be so bad if Vitra. Amidst the fray, Ahawan fell, protecting a grief-stricken father. Oh, fuck me. My friends fight alongside your radiant host to secure the capital. Beasts have been sighted in Palakistan as well. We have divided our forces in hopes of quelling the threat there. Of small solace is that we now know what triggers the transformation. As my companions tell it. Imagine if Estinian has to slay Vitra. Oh, is this it? Is that the entire cutscene? So it is the very fear and despair in their hearts which inflict this abhorrent punishment upon them. A nightmare from which my children will never awake. O oh, capricious and cruel fate, they are undeserving of such condemnation. Will you wallow in sorrow or rise to the occasion? Mm. Razat Han is leaderless. Before he passed, Ahawan sought to reveal the truth to his people. Honor his wishes. To what end? To breed a new conflict between dragon and man? Oh no, Dragon Song Wars 2.0! These claws could reduce thee to shreds with a touch. These jaws crush thy bones to dust. Only through my proxy could I walk with my children. Without him, I am a bringer of fear. No different from the beasts which beleaguer them. Perhaps so. Only in death were Hreisvelga and Shiva united. Indeed, whenever man and dragon have come together, death has ever been the inevitable result. It was our fear of your kind that sparked a nigh endless war. Fear and hate of which Nidhogg drank deep as he laid waste to my homeland. And in turn, I took my revenge on his brood. Blood for blood, pain for pain. I thought nothing of theirs, only of mine. Oh my god, are we getting emotional growth from Astinian? And yet, were the chasm between us too vast and too deep, Kreisvelga would not have borne his sail to battle and our rescue. He would never have entrusted a mortal champion with one of his eyes. And the Dragon Song War would still rage on. And I would still wage a never ending war of violence and vengeance. The future of our star be damned. I cannot speak for Ahuan's greater goals. Yet I know that he served you, served your people long and true. In this time of unprecedented crisis, he turned to you. You could do worse than to place your trust in him. It will not be easy, but the future of Radzid Han hangs in the balance. Yo, did he roll a nat 20 on fucking, on a charisma check? We have company. Oh, let me see this. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. I am ready. Oh. <laughs> the hour has come, Vritra. Oh. It's oh. all nothing. Oh, I thought they were going to put me in an instance or something. Holy shit. When all hope seems lost, Matsya cannot help but fear the worst. Another cutscene, yeah? Another cutscene. If Mavan fled deeper into the jungle, she and her child are in grave danger. What are we, whatever are we to do? Gods have mercy. You must try to stay calm, Matsya. You cannot let fear consume you. Do you want to turn to beasts like the others? Um, yeah, first one. 
But how can I at a time like this? They could be dead. <laughs> so, if I allow myself to be overcome with this fear, I too might become a beast? I am not sure I understand, but I will do my best. <gasps> my babies! I've seen to the wounded. How did the two of you fare? Did you find your friends? Oh, I'm talking. It's coming out. <laughs> I see. In that case, let us help you find the mother and child. Before we leave, we must ensure the village will be safe in our absence. Alize and I will patrol the area and search for more beasts. Would you and Matsya speak with Elder Yeruvet? Pray explain to him the situation and join us as soon as you are able. Mm. Alright. We will save Mavan and her child. We can do that much for Karaf. Karasoff. Karapapa. Papa. Caramel. <laughs> I I want to learn monk. I've heard that monk is is difficult to learn, but it looks like fun. I don't understand dancer that much. I do not understand dancer that much, but it is a cool class. The fact that I can just literally be a stripper. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's so random, but it's so fucking good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Pepper's thighs distracting foes for the win. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Orion, and hello, hello. How are you? Dancers game. Have you heard of Gunbreaker? We have exploding gun swords, cool coats, and shoot ourselves to become invisible. Okay. Gunbreaker is cool, but I'm not the biggest fan of like of just the. It just feels slow. Gunbreaker just doesn't feel like quippy enough for me, I guess. I'm heartened to see you both safe, but what of the family? We found Karasov. Oh, he. Say no more. I understand. We have lost another of our dear friends. Karasov may be gone, but there's still hope for Mavan and their child. Please find them, I beg of you. And if, in your search, you come across anyone else who escaped the slaughter, Pray tell them what has happened. I will do my best to keep the villagers safe and their spirits high. Come, let's rejoin your friends at once. Sounds good. Bro, I'm hungry. I need a snack, but I have no snacks in the house right now. All the snacks I have, like, I need to, like, prep. And I did not prep anything. Fuck. Just want to snacks. Gunbreaker's not slow, I think it's pretty, it's probably the fastest paced tank. It just feels clunky. It just feels very clunky to me. Very clunky, I just don't like it. It just doesn't feel fun. I just, ugh, yeah. I feel very slow on it. Gunbreaker is fun, but doesn't have enough buttons to press like Paladin and Dark Knight. Maybe that's why it feels slow to me. Maybe that's why it feels slow. But I mean, I do have Gunbreaker at level 90 though, guys. I will say that much. I've played the class. I can play the class. <laughs> it's just not for me. I don't know. Mr. Happy, hello! Gunbreaker clunk is a common complaint since Endwalker began. Thank you. I feel a lot better about my opinion now. For the double weaving? For the double weaving? The double weaving? The double weaving? <laughs> Skill speed materia. Don't kill me. Oh, all right, okay. Let's talk to Alize. I'm pleased to report that the vicinity appears to be beast free. No doubt thanks to your earlier efforts. And with that, let us resume our search for your friend and her child. Where should we begin, Matsya? 
If we follow Sirodor, Siroda, 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 uh, we will arrive at Perusa, a temple. It is all. It is a sacred place where people go to commune with the divinities. It's possible that Mavan sought shelter there, <laughs> perhaps other villagers as well. That's what it said. Then it's settled. Matsya, stay close to me, all right? You two, take the lead. Keep an eye out for beasts and anyone you need to be helped. I'm like stuttering. Very well. We will. Eh! Oh my god! <laughs> like I have a tickle in my throat right now that is like just fucking me. It is just fucking the way I speak. Gotta save my mind, the baby. <sighs> Gunbreaker is how you get carpal tunnel syndrome. And look, your girl's already got arthritis, so you know what? <laughs> uh, we make for Perusa as quickly as we are able. With me. Okay, babes, let's go. All right. Honestly, Tess, I love um, my Uber, but I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna run. You know why? Cause. I want to extend the amount of times I can listen to this track. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration mention. I actually should get some water. Hello, Sarnix. Hello, hello. <laughs> Kelsey, that is pepper. That is pepper. He's been fucked since 2016. Yeah, mine have been like destroyed since last year. I'm. Cleared P12 on Dragoo, but I'm never doing that again. Too hard. Hey, you know what? You did it, and that's what's important. Oi. Can this come to get away from me? Kumbira? Kumbira? Kumbira. Kumbira. Get this fucking gator away from me. Thank you. <laughs> I really should be swapping to other classes to level, but like, I think Samurai's level 83, yeah, and Summoner's, what, 80? Yeah, so I wouldn't even actually be able to, like, I wouldn't be able to get any XP off of these guys. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. RIP MSQ um, experience, I guess. I already do nothing, just like what's inside of people that just form into blasphemies. Someone ban Sarnix. Finish with me. Too soon, Sarnix. Too soon. Hey, Queen, what's up? Oh, I'm touching your bun. Th thank you. I thought I was done for. Hm? Mavan? She's a friend of mine too, but I have not seen her. She must still be out there somewhere trying to avoid the beast. And with her child. Gods. Worry not for me. I can make my way back to the village on my own. I'm really scared to see what's gonna happen to this woman and her child. I have a really bad feeling. No, it has to end well. Everything else has been really depressing. This has to be good. They're gonna be fine. We're gonna save them. Every little thing is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. All right. All right. Hello, Matsya. You hiding? Pepper, wait! Priscilla's just up ahead, but something terrible has happened. Oh my god, the beasts have come and many have already been killed. Alfina and Alice have gone to do what they can, but there are so, so many. More than I can count. You must be ready. Oh man. Hey, yo, do you think I'll get another dungeon? No, I'm just gonna be fucking up, guys. I want a dungeon. Yo, Captain. Hello, hello. How are you? Yo, Warmaku. Hi. What's fucked up is the ah Ahawan thing is so bad you forget about the kid who got stepped on five seconds before. How could I fucking forget about that? That was horrifying to witness. The father literally watched that happen. And then Mr. Grahatia saved the dad from transforming. How could I have forgotten that? Impossible. All right, let me help you. Oh, there are two. Oh no! Oh, I guess you could say she got snatched. Okay. 
Graha showed his amazing switch potential. That would kill me. Graha can be baby and mommy. <laughs> if you had leveled Fisher to 90, you could have stepped in and helped Masia sell the fish. Nah, <laughs> stop. Now I gotta fucking redo this shit. I'm glad you have a, cr a cry counter and Marker made me cry like four months straight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not having a good time here. <laughs> but this is not just an Endwalker cry counter. This is an all game cry counter. Started in Heaven's Ward. Shadowbringers went, made it go up by like 60 or like 50. And yeah, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty fucking brutal. He can switch his potential all over me. Oh, Davey, you naughty babe. Hello, Ponto. Hello, hello. Hello, friend. Ah, indeed. Shit is getting real. Shit is getting fucking real. What's that crystal hand do? Hey, yo. I am good, Ponto. Well, actually, Ponto, I am not good. I am emotionally drained. This game is fucking me up. This quest line, like, this part of the narrative has been so fucking sad. Is it bad that I don't believe that number and think it's actually higher? Honestly, it probably is. There have been a lot of moments where I've gotten, like, emotional and like passionate but didn't actually cry you know and we have started counting the moments where like i tear up so it, it honestly it probably is probably is higher i'd have to go through all my vods to double check <gasps> brother god say something oh fuck me in the butt is that them oh my god wait i found a child i found a child and a, a man okay Maybe not them. Wait, is it a child? Or maybe that's just a small person. I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, God. Whose dude is... Yo, he got a dumpy, though. Oh, no. Defeat the beast? Okay, no. It's definitely not them. There's, like, one more over here that we have to take care of. I got excited and nervous. Folk. I'm just saying, Graha got like a sentence with a knowledge, so like, yo, wifey knows what he's doing. Wifey knows his way. Okay? Around X, Y, and Z. Okay? That's why Davy is such a big simp. I don't think I've ever met anyone that doesn't like simp for Graha Tia. Like, I'm gonna be real. I feel like most people in the Final Fantasy XIV community, rightfully so, by the way, simp for everything. Ah! Everyone loves Graha. Everyone loves Ustola. Uriange. Alfino. Astinian. You know what I mean? Hor or Chiffon. Like, every- I said whore. Everyone loves them. All of them. I don't really think there's, like, a single character, like, prominent character that people just don't like. Yeah, I said for Vothri. Okay, Vothri's a really cool villain. I will give that character that. I don't sim for Ishtola to be honest, she's I Okay, well if Ishtola was a fucking aura, then maybe you'd be saying otherwise, right? Oh, true. I don't actually sim for Lise. I'm not a Lise sim. I don't like Lise. <laughs> so, I guess I can't really say that we all sim for the same characters. True, Vondry became like a Victoria's Secret model, which was completely unexpected. Sorry for yawning, Shad. I promise I'm okay. <gasps> oh my god. Why did I just go into first person? There you are. How fair are the others? <laughs> I see. You've seen to all the beasts in sight. In that case, let's have everyone gather in front of the temple. <sighs> okay, chat. Here we go. Still no sight of mummy and Courage, baby. friend. The pain will pass. Has anyone seen Mevan? Mevan, okay. Not Mavan, Mevan. Oh, no one has? Oh my god, chat. Where could she be? <laughs> the way Matsya is worrying so much has me a little bit on edge about, like, 
what will happen to him. I hope We've dealt with all the blasphemies does. and made certain no villagers are still in hiding. Good work. We've otherwise tended to the wounded as best we can. What will become of us? Help is on the way, surely. We may have to abandon our homes now, but we will return someday. But where can we go? Is anywhere even safe? That I cannot say. Well, I can. Nowhere's safe. Run all you like, but there's no escape in these things. And even if I could... <laughs> it's too late for my family. This isn't good. The more they dwell on the tragedy, the more likely we are to lose them, too. Show them, show them, show them Alfonso friends, or whatever the fuck the Porky's this, name is. Porgy, whatever. This porky, is a place porky. of worship. Pray! Should your heart quake with sadness, cast your mind to the heavens and remember. Remember the teachings of the old gods. Did they not implore us to stand fast when waves of sorrow break against our shores? Know this, my children. There is more ugliness than beauty in this world. To live is to suffer, to drink of calamity and drown in anguish, to toil and be tested, always and ever. Tis a perilous path you walk. Death Man. lurks in the dark. I mean, so that is the negative. sole promise that awaits a journey. So motherfucking negative in here. You will tremble with terror. You will weep tears of anger and despair. But do not avert your eyes. See your life for what it is. The Gratia effect. Then will you see how the hardships make you strong. The Gratia effect. Me, me, me. Every doubt reforged as scales for your armor. Me, 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 me. Every me, agony me. to temper your blade. Thank you, lad. We'd almost forgotten who we are. <laughs> my undying gratitude to you as well, my friends. You were searching for Mevan, no? We must return home. I pray you help the boy find his friend. Gladly. We dispatched what beasts we could, but the roads are still dangerous. Stay together and go in safety. That was very impressive, what you did back there. Those words seem to resonate with your people. They should. They were the first spoken unto our ancestors by the divinity of legend. I'm easily upset, and fish are wont to flee a temperamental hand, so I recite the teachings over and over to calm myself. They're lovely. 
and inspiring to hear. Though I imagine Jesus. they were born of great misfortune. The lightning and thunder scared the fuck out of me. They are born of life. There's as much bad as good in it. Uh, more, many would attest. All the more reason to appreciate the good when you can. I won't argue with I that. I love that. I love that. In darkness, seek joy. Surrender not to sadness. And see beyond despair. Walk free. And bear the light for others to follow. Mother, you're so fucking loud. And with that, let us see if we can't find Mervyn. Did you see? That beast was chasing someone. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All right, Pepper, it's time to be everyone's light. <gasps> Let's talk to my baby. Oh, we got it. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Warm hearts, rekindled hopes. Okay, warm hearts, rekindled hopes. The child is fine. The child is fine. The child is okay. Streamer check dono. Oh, wait, did I get, a, did I get an alert? Oh. <gasps> A smile better suits a hero? Fuck you for real for that. But thank you for the $5 dono. I appreciate it. And then I'm thinking for 30 month resub. Sorry, during MSQ, I have alerts muted so y'all don't interrupt emotional sequences. Over there, my view was blocked by the trees, but I'm sure I saw someone being chased by a beast. Pepper, go with Matsya and search along the river. Alfino and I will circle around from the south. A smile better suits a bitch. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. What if I got like a smile better suits a hero tattooed on my butt? Will that be a bad idea? I do want to get like a Orshifan slash like Dark Knight tattoo somewhere on me. A smile better suits a zero more like because you sold no fish. No! I'm sorry! Look, you know what? They shouldn't have asked me to help them sell fish because I don't even like fish to begin with. So how would I have done a good job at that? Do you know what I mean? Horse chiffon tram stamp? Yes. We're serving. Yo! Look at that fucking statue! Yo, it's lit! That's so cool. That was so beautiful. It looked like a variation of Ganesh, honestly. That's so cool. That's so cool. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's backing up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. This is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. She's not gonna die. We're gonna save her. No, I'm, I'm sure of it. Live on! Oh my god. Please. Yes! Hit it with the rock! Yes, help me now! That's my boy! That's my son! Fuck him up! Yes! Yes! Oh! My ch Oh! My children! Ugh. Yes! Run, bitch! Oh! Have mercy! Pepper! Man! Man! Don't give me an underwater sequence! Oh, fuck me. Alright. We're going. We're going. Let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Go, Pepper, go! Go, Pepper, go! Go, Pepper! I'm, I... Oh, my God. Uh, where's the baby? Where's the... Where's the baby? 
Where is the baby? Where is the baby? Where is the baby? Where is the baby? Chat, where is the child? Where is the child? Mavan's, Mevin, whatever, Mevin's lifeless body floats before you, battered and broken. Her death, no doubt, came swiftly. Fuck, my controller just dissipated. Oh my god. Oh my god, where's the child? Wait, wait, wait. Her infant daughter, however, is nowhere to be seen! Child! I'm searching for the baby. We're looking for the baby. Yo, that baby dead. No, nah, that baby dead. I'm sorry. There's no way. There's no way this baby is okay. Oh, this is fucked. They got me searching for it? Is it gonna be lodged somewhere? Oh, this is so fucked. This is so fucked up. Is it gonna be like under some rubble? Oh my God, it's at the bottom of the... baby sunk the baby sunk wow this title warm hearts and rekindled hopes it got me excited it got me really excited it really it really had me thinking that everything would be okay. You know? Rekindling Mevin and her friends. Warm hearts because they're not dead. Yo man, the baby's already dead, okay? It can it can wait there a little bit, okay? Alright, well I'm aiding it. You take the babe in, into your arms. If she, if she yet lives, you cannot tell. But she will surely not survive unless you carry her to the surface at once. There is no way. There is no way. This baby is making it out of this alive like fucking Tarzan. There is like no chance. There is no chance. If this baby survives, yo, who's gonna raise it? Who, Matsya? Is Matsya gonna be an elephant puppy? Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm coming. 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 Maybe we just dodge Hanuman real quick. Let me just yeet, yeet, yeet. Oh, okay. Get away! Get away! Oh, when the tigers! Oh, gorgeous. All right. What up, Elfie? I got the baby! Did you find Mavon and the child? No. But let me just pull this baby out of my ass real quick, because I'm not carrying it. Damn it all. You have the child? Let me see her. Oh, he's going to do his healy wheely. Healy mealy mealy. Mealy mealy. Healy wheelies on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's so cold, Elphino. The child is alert, and I see no wounds, and yet... <sighs> she grows weaker. My spells can do no more. What she needs is a change of clothes and a warm bed. We must hurry back. That's the warm... Not now! Matsya, take the child. brown baby but the white mama biracial baby god damn it it appears we've made enough noise to be heard for moms around more will be upon us ere long we make our stand here matya can you take her back to the village but the child all all by myself you can't be serious the beasts will follow you home unless we stop them here. And so we shall. Be strong, Matsya. Her life is in your hands. Right. I... 
I can do it. Yes, you can. I know you can. We'll keep them busy, Maxia. Go! Quickly! Oh, my children. They're so cool. And me! And me! Oh, please make it back. Oh, please make it back. Steady. You know the way. Please make it back. No, no, not you too. Rocket, sing to it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. To live is to suffer, to drink of calamity. It is a perilous path. Death lurks in the dark. No, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Ah! Do not avert your eyes. See, see your life for what it is. See how the hardships make you strong. Every doubt reforged. Save the child. She is all that remains of Mevan and Grasser. Please. Huh? Well, well. Seems the babe's taken a liking to you. Yo, Dragon Daddy? Is he gonna raise this baby? Thou art strong, little one. Let us convey thee to thy home. <laughs> I spied our friends as we flew in. They appeared to be holding their own against the horde. All right, am I gonna be like in an instance now? Oh, okay, cutscene, slay. Thank God. Good job, babies! Right. That's the last of them. We should hurry and find Matsya. I have a feeling he'll be fine. He had help from on high. I have a feeling he'll be fine. Really? How can you be so sure? A fine battle it must have been. Shame I missed it. Estinian, it was you who came to Matia's aid. I was only along for the ride. Vritra was the one who saw the boy was in need. The two are headed back to the village. Where the worm will honor Ahiwan's wishes and finally reveal himself to his people. Perhaps so. Will you go and join them? There's something I need to do first. Mervyn gave her life so that her child might live. 
She deserves better than to be left to drift alone. Oh, Alize is so good. They're so good. She deserves to be laid to rest beside her husband at least. Oh yeah, we have Will to go bury me? him. We promised him that once we found them, or I guess we promised each other that once we found Mavan and the baby, we would put him to rest. Oh. Oh. Just the twins and me digging graves again. Holy fuck. The baby is darker than both of them. But you know what? We love biracial love. <laughs> Go. I'll keep watching until your work is done. I mean, maybe I should have said a prayer too, but that's okay. <laughs> We have done what we can. Just for the villages of Palika stand to perform the funeral rites. If nothing else, Mavan and Karasev died as they lived, as themselves, and not as beasts. Their souls will find peace in the ethereal sea. To think the day would come when even that smallest of solaces solaces would be this comforting. Wow. The next mission is called Simple Pleasures. Oh boy. Fuck. Man, chat, that was so intense. That was so fucking intense. Like, I almost, you know what? This, they've gotten a lot better with their predictability because I can still gauge what's about to happen, but there's a part of me that's like, no, they're not gonna go that route. They're not gonna go that route. And it's like, they do or they'll just tease me a little. Do you know what I mean? Man. Fuck, the writing in this game is so wild. I'm like, I'm honestly like speechless. I don't really know what to say. I just, man, I should have sold more fish. Yo, Irish, hello, hello. It's going great. It's going really well. It's going very well. I have only cried a little bit. <laughs> the Endwalker narrative is picking up a ton and I'm struggling to find the words to describe how I'm like feeling about all of it. It's really fucking good. It's really fucking good. I like the idea that Asinian only checks in with the Warrior of Light because that's the only one he likes talking to via Link Pearl. I actually like that theory too. I like that theory too. I still need to look at the the, um, the in cutscene. Because y'all were saying Asinian's is good. I'm sure it would give me like a lot of context here. I could see over a hundred cries. Listen! If we hit over a hundred, like, do we have to do something to celebrate? Like, what do what do we do there? What do we do at that point? Do we just let it let it coast? Do we ignore it? <laughs> My guess was one hundred and ten. One hundred and ten. I think someone said they guessed one hundred and fifteen. We all group cry. We all group cry at one hundred. What do you think? What do you think um, the 100th cry is going to be? I'm glad the 69th cry was... Um, was Orshifan. Was Orshifan related. It, like, it had to have been, you know what I mean? Second chat. One second. Sixty-nine. No, no, no. Sixty-nine was not skipped. It's just we had two in a row. We had two in a row. Um. So like we didn't even get to like have sixty-nine on the counter. It went literally from sixty-eight to seventy. Chowder, hello! Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm getting a little hungry. 
And I'm trying to like, I'm trying to figure out like if this is a good stopping point or not. Ooh, we're gonna get chai and we're gonna get ether currents. There's some tea. Asinian stands in silence, a grim expression on his face. Okay, so the usual. You're ready then. In that case, let's head to Palika's den. No doubt Vitra is awaiting us. Do, 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 do. And now I can just TP here. Estinian heard you were hungry. What do I, what do I get chat? I could probably just make something though, like whenever I end stream. I'm just getting tired. I'm just getting eepy, you know? Eepy, eepy. So Vitra has finally like revealed himself, huh? I wonder how such power, I can scarcely believe it. Yeah, I wonder how everyone's feeling about this. First hordes of beasts, now mighty worm, our world goes stranger by the day. I wonder if he's gonna use the baby as like his crutch. Like, look at what I did. You know? I prevented it from turning. Trust me. <laughs> Rest easy, for all is well here. Young Matsya returned with the young with the babe safe in his arms. Owing to a warm bed, the girl hath already begun to regain her strength. Less joyously received was word of the mother and father's fate, as well as that of their transformed neighbors. How many children of Thavner must we lose to this calamity? Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, every death another void that can never be filled. We who survive them must carry the weight of their memory as we strive to regain a semblance of what we have lost. Karasif and Mevin's babe is a child of Thavner as well. I thank you for returning her to us safe. Of course. Of course. Oh, most great and merciful worm, I have not the words to express my gratitude. They say that were it not for you, brave Matsi and the child would have been lost to us forever. Long had I heard the rumors that a mighty dragon had forged a pact of friendship with the satrap, but never would I have expected such a kind and gentle soul. Truth in part, but not in whole. Yo, shout out to Astinian for changing his mind, for being a smooth talker, for rolling a nat 20 on charisma, and, persu and persuasion, persuasion check. <laughs> I am Vitra, and for years uncounted, half this isle served as mine abode, an isle I have ruled over a satrap with Ah Ahawen. Ahawen? I don't even remember how to pronounce his name now. Ahawen. Ahawen. As my loyal servant. Elgas. Are my ears to be believed? You were the true satrap all along? Is that Nidhana? Nidhana, what are you doing here? Nidhana, she's okay! I heard from the Radiant that you had gone to help the people of Palika stand in their time of need. And so I and several of my colleagues from the great work came to offer our services. The alchemists have already brewed up some potions for Mevin's daughter. Oh, that's so lovely healing the babe but enough about uh, la, 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 but enough about us you and your role are the far greater enigma if you were the true satrap all along could it be that young Varshan was created to serve as your emissary emissary thou didst suspect the boy was but a simulacrum Simul simulacrum a rumor has circulated for many years around the high crucible that our most skilled alchemists were once commissioned by the satrap's family in secret to fashion a mammoth indistinguishable from a living boy. Looking at Varshan with that knowledge, I simply put two and two together. Wow, smart cookies, eh? I was not alone in drawing this conclusion, but like me, they no doubt recognized that the satrap was using the simulacrum to work more closely with his people and decided not to press the, press the issue. I had always assumed one of Ahawin's associates was manipulating it from afar, though the truth is indeed far more surprising. It is an honor to meet you in the flesh, Master Vitra. Pray allow me to express my gratitude. If you had not believed in and given us 
given unto us your scales, I do not know where we would be. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Oh yeah, because of his scales, they were able to like further their their research and stuff to create the um was it the wards or whatever that we were using, right? At the beginning of Endwalker? Twas thou and thy fellow alchemists that fashioned the means to unmake the towers. Yes, those. To, to get in and whatever, right? You are the saviors, not only of Rods and Han, but the star. Far too kind you are, Master Beecher. But the star yet wants for salvation. Once more will my colleagues and I commit the knowledge and resources at our disposal to the mission of aiding the people in this their darkest hour. It would seem this place is in good hands. I'd return to see how Rods and Han fares. What will you do, Scions? That's a good question. I worry for the survivors we met at Perusa. Shall I pay them a visit before making our way back? That's not like a bad idea. In that case, might I ask a favor? Nothing too burdensome, I promise. This way. Where are we going? Chat, I'm getting full. Y'all want anything? Oh my god. Can you get me... Can you just get me, like... Can you just get me gyozas? I just want gyozas. Just get me gyozas from literally anywhere, Devin. <laughs> you know, it's pretty obvious when I realized he never aged. Dude, okay, and it's funny, too. I was thinking this whole time, like, where is that little boy? And then in my own head, like, I didn't say anything, but in my head, I was like, that boy was never real. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm fine. I'm chilling. I mean, it was a good simulacrum, but it's like... It was a child. Y'all really gonna believe that the child is a leader, you know? Someone got me a kit to make gyozas? Ooh. See, this is what I wanna do. I wanna learn how to cook. Like, properly. Ooh, bon me. Oh my god, I wanna... You know what I want? A bon me bun. That's what I want. Um, but... Yeah, no, I just, like, I just wanna get better in the kitchen. I want to be able to, like, make the things that I love ordering so I don't have to fucking order them anymore, you know? Hello, Brave! I'm good! I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. Needs to simmer just a bit longer, I'd say. Oh, is she making me food? In the meantime, I was hoping I might ask you a few questions. The red sky, these terrible beasts. What in the name of the sisters is happening here in Thavnir? <laughs> Oh my, that's rather a lot to take in. It would seem the situation is even more grave than we suspected. Thank you, friend. My colleagues and I will use your knowledge to see if we can further our own research. And with that, here we are. <gasps> ah! A pot of piping hot chai brewed from my own secret recipe of spices and tea leaves together with hearty helpings of rich milk and purest sugar. I made enough for everyone in the village. Might I trouble you to deliver a few cups? The drink has medicinal properties, properties then. Not in the least. The ingredients are quite ordinary. It's so very tasty though, and has a way of lifting the spirits. Oh, I love chai. Oh, I was hoping I'd get chai. <laughs> the spicy aroma and distinctive sweetness of chai is a simple, everyday pleasure on our island. Sometimes the best medicine is the simplest. A lovely sentiment, Nitana. By all means, allow us to assist. Yes. Let the brown girl give everyone chai. <laughs> While you lot distribute hot beverages, I'll do a sweep for errant beasts to slay. A far less arduous task, no doubt. When you finish, look for me in the wakeful Tirana. In the wakeful Tirana? Yo, we're going to Toronto? Hey, yo, six mans in the house. Look at them all lazing about. I'm like, full well, the beast might strike again at any moment. Yo, chill. Do not realize their lives are in danger? Well, I, for one, intend to survive. I'm too young to die. Yes, I'll leave this island behind if I must. But where would I go? Is anywhere safe these days? Girl, just drink your chai. <laughs> drink your motherfucking chai. <laughs> a cup of chai? Can you see I have more important things to worry about? <sighs> no, no, you're right. It is precisely in times like these that we must strive to remain calm and steady. I do believe I'll visit the Elder and see what needs to be done. If there's any way I can aid my village and my friends, I will do it. There you go. That's a better uh, change of pace. Change of pace. Change a change of heart. Wary citizen hiding behind, hiding behind these these 
these crates? Oh, just chilling, taking a breather. Hmm? Wait, I know you. You're the one who saved us from this beast back at the temple. Were it not for you, well, let's not even think about that. At times like this, we mustn't dwell on what might have been, but look to the future. But what future awaits us? How can Raz and Han hope to recover from this? Most of my friends are gone, and I don't know where to turn. Take the chai. Take the chai. He said. Hmm. <laughs> a cup of chai. Well, if you insist. <sighs> that aroma has a way of clearing the mind. Come to think of it, we faced our, sh our fair share of trials in the past as well. No matter how hard the times, we've always come together as a people united. One day at a time, one step at a time. For that is all any of us can do. Yes. Back to work. Once I finish this cup. Thank you. Well, that was more wholesome. I don't feel so bad about delivering that guy tea. Alright. Let's see. There's one more person somewhere here. Who is deserving of some chai. But I do not see them. Are they a little bit more up here then? In the outskirts maybe? Hiding? Let's see. I see adorable. But I don't see someone else who would like some chai. Do y'all see someone in need of chai? And I don't mean me. I would love some chai actually. I could fucking make some chai right now. I'm at like the borders of the zone and I don't I don't see I don't see anybody else. Maybe in here? Did I look in here? Hmm. No one in there. Let's see. There's a chocobo keep. Is in here. Let's see. Did I look in this house already? Who is that? Who is that? Oh, it's Tess. It's a wild Tess. Tess playing a little peekaboo. What? Where is the other person? Is it me? Can I drink it? <laughs> where I'm going. I don't see literally... Oh. Oh? No. Hello? Does no one want this fucking tea? Alfino would say chai tea. Alfino would say chai tea. I am very glad that they're not saying chai tea in this game, though. Thank God. Chai tea latte? <laughs> Do y'all- where- the other person actually died because they didn't have fish to eat? Alright. Y'all want me to start serving fish and chai? Yo, fuck fish and chips. Where is the other person? I'm- I'm so confused. I farted. I farted in confusion. I'm like wondering if they're around here. Cause there's, okay, there's Alfino. You know. Okay. Let's see. What if I what if I go up here? Is there someone on top here? Oh, there we go. Vish ride. Hello, hello. All right, I found somebody. I'm sorry. I, I just want to be left alone. My best friend and I, we fled the village together. Then the beast took him and, and it was all I could do to run. All the while, I could hear this monstrous voice screaming my name. Here, maybe some chai will make you feel better. <laughs> hmm, is this for me? We used to drink chai together often. Shared stories over steaming cups after a hard day's work. Okay, this was either a bad idea or a very good idea. She's about to start crying or she's gonna be really happy. Thank you, friend. The pain may never pass, but I must press on all the same. For his memory. And for we who must remember. Remember us. Remember us. Came for the milkers? I hope you mean the milk and the chai. 
thank you for delivering the chai, Pepper. Did it help to lift the villagers' spirits? Mm -hmm. This is heartening to hear indeed. The final days show no sign of abating, but that is all the more reason that we must try to keep our composure. Our lives have been forever changed. The people we have lost will never return to us. These tragedies will long weigh on our hearts. We have the capacity to live with our suffering, to carry the agony until we too join the fallen in death. It is not a surrender, but a recognition, for it is only an acceptance that we find a strength to move forward. Damn, that's deep. My therapist said the same thing. Yo, we got a question mark, question mark, question mark mission. Are we finally on the level 86 missions? Oh, we're not. Under his wing? Oh. Oh. I'm nervous. This, this looks, this looks scary. This looks intimidating. This looks dramatic. Matsuya is eyeing you as if there is something he wants to say. Hello, you only cried 78 times? Only 78 times. Just 78. Can you believe that? As you have finished your deliveries, might I talk with you for a moment? I was curious to know, what was what has become of Mavan and Karasif's remains? Holy fuck, the lightning is crazy right now. I may actually like hop off after this. Like, I don't really, I have a bad feeling about my, my PC. Three quest sounds right? Oh fuck. Okay, maybe I should just like ride it out. I don't know. Good night, Ensman Bell! Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you got to hang out and enjoy the stream. Oh, thank you, friend. Surely they'll be able to rest peacefully, peacefully by each other's side. And I the people I and the people of Palakistan will perform the rites as soon as we are able. As for the child, it will not be easy for her growing up without her parents, but I promise I to do what I can. When she is able to eat solid food, the fish I catch will help nourish her. Well, we finished delivering the chai. I do believe everyone has a piping hot cup. I could almost believe there's a magic at work. How the tension fades with every sip. Let us pray that Palika's stand has seen the last of those transformations. At least for now. They're still at risk, as every village in Thavner like as not. As every village in Thavner like as not. Still, I trust we can leave this place in the care of our friends from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we return to Razadhan? By all means, do not let us keep you further. There are still many who have need of your wisdom and strength to deliver them from this terrible calamity. And I will do what I can as well. I will bring rations and supplies from Akiali. Akiali. We have plenty to spare. Then let us find a city to be on our way. Where did he wander off to again? Oh man. The wakeful Tirana. Hey yo, we in the six. Near the bridge to Razarahan, as I recall. Very well then. Is this gonna be dramatic? I feel like this is gonna be dramatic. I feel like we're gonna have like a dramatic like dragoon and dragon moment. They're gonna kiss. I just know it. They're gonna fucking kiss. Yo! So many, so many blue quests just popped up. Flowers for the family. That sounds sad. In Agama's footsteps. That also sounds sad. What's in a parrot? That also sounds fucking sad. All right. Okay, we just have to go north. Have you seen the Chucky X DVD yet? Uh, the teaser for Chucky X DVD? I don't like uh, Dead by Daylight. So, no. I Actually, no, I did see... I scrolled past it. <laughs> I'm not a Dead by Daylight girly. Yeah, I don't think that game is very fun. Sorry. I'm surprised it's thundering since it's so cold out. Does it- is it not supposed to thunder when it's cold? Is that some science that I didn't know about? At least someone's getting fish? Alright. Look. Hey look, he's not getting any help from me, so... They don't have to worry about anything, okay? I'm not a good fish salesman, what can I say? <laughs> Alfino told me everything. Full glad am I to hear the people are safe. Likewise, you'll be pleased to know I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungle and ruins. We seem to finish off the last of them. Trying times that lie ahead for the people of Thavner. Fortunately, we have a wise and benevolent satrap to shepherd them through. Speaking of which, I received word from Thancred not a short while ago, who awaits our return on 
but I return to city to the city on Alzadal's path. Come. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. Here we go. Here we go. I suspect. I suspect something. Something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I suspect. I don't know anymore. Oh. To reduce congestion in the area you are about to enter has been divided into multiple identical instances. Uh, no preference. I'm in Razadhan 2. Alright. Okay, let's go find Thancred. I think after we speak with Thancred, depending on how it goes, that's why I'm gonna hop off. I am getting... I am getting tired. And... You know, I want to be able to enjoy the story when I'm not sleepy. You know, I had a long day. Long day. So... Alright, let's speak with Thancred. Oh god, this place is so gorgeous. It is good to see you safe. Given the skies, it's all too easy to fear the worst. I'm pleased to report that we've succeeded in quelling the threat here in the city. The beasts have all been felled and the citizens are safe for now. I've also heard from the Radiant that an important proclamation will be made in the city square. They said no more than that. Why don't you have any idea what this is about? Probably about Vitra. So Vitra's finally coming out from behind the curtain. Dragons, baby. I suppose we too should hear what he has to say. To make a debt to then. But before that, it would appear that word of the assembly has not yet reached all the citizens. If anyone along the way seems unaware, we best enlighten them. Bro! I don't want to do no fetch quests. I had a long day at the whole spawn. Very true. Oh, I think it's just like a couple people up here then. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. I can handle that. He spent some alone time with Estinian, now he's coming out. Damn. Hey, look. Estinian's got that unspoken riz, okay? Good for him. Honestly, good for him. Hello, here and boy. Oh, the beast's all gone. I've been hiding and I'm too scared to go out and look. <coughs> oh, that's a relief. I thought one of those beasts was going to eat me. I wonder where Varshan is. He's the slowest runner. I hope he got away. Well, little do you know, Varshan ain't who you think he is. Hmm. He could be with the other people from the palace. Maybe I'll see him in the square. Oh, you'll see him. Oh, kid, you will see him all right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Spoofed youth? <coughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. I just mean a bunch of kids. Leave me be, please. I swear to you, my flesh tastes absolutely terrible. Oh gods, what are you doing scaring me like that? If we're not quiet, those beasts will find us. You're safe now. The square, you say? That's where Satrap was killed. With my very eyes, I saw him crushed in that creature's maw. So many lives lost, such terrible carnage. And you say there is someone else who would lead Razad Han in his stead. Whoever they are, if they say anything to sully if they say anything to sully the memory of her beloved Satrap, I'll make them regret it. Oh just you wait. Just you wait. You have no idea what's coming, boy. I'm excited. I'm excited. This might be a cool cutscene. This might be the like the a good like. This might be like a good like end point here. You know, Vitra says his dues. You know, and then we go from there. This better be voiced because my throat is irritated. <coughs> oh my god, the music. Oh my god, this music. It's so hopeful. It's so joyous. Oh my god, the kidneys. Mm. Look, someone's coming. He's gonna do a transformation. He's gonna drop the spell or some shit. Oh, fuck. Oh god, here we go. People of Razathan, it warms my heart to see so many brave, resilient souls before me. Today, I would share with you a great revelation. But before I do, I must make a humble request. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is. 
and know that he means you no harm. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Very well. I dare say it can't be worse than the horrors we've already seen. Well, <laughs> depends on who you ask. Many thanks. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. A dragon! With no eyes because Whoa. of Varshan. <laughs> how this is gonna work? People of Radzathan, I am Vritra, and for years uncounted yes, have this eye served as mine abode. It's because of Varshan, right? Tis as the Satrap's ally I am known. Today, I would reveal the truth unto you. Let us hope they accept him. I think it'll be just fine. I think it'll be just fine. Because imagine a dragon being your leader, especially if when I a lot of them are like right, Ura. You are the That's kind of thing. Along? Vashan! I mean... Master Vitra... The... The... Does you define I really see all? Nay, child. While mine eye hath borne witness to the whole of our nation's history, to its future I am blind as thee. Countrymen. Calamity the likes of which we have never known is come to Favnir, our home. Friends and loved ones have been taken from us. I, too, have lost my closest confidant. Ahewan loved this land and served it with dignity till his dying breath. A nobler satrap there will never be. For so long, our boy. I lacked the courage to face you. I will not easily earn your trust. This I know. And yet, I cannot sit idly by and abandon Rats at harm to her fate. A font of boundless vibrancy, this jewel of the ocean. Since time immemorial, has she glittered with every color imaginable. To this dragon, slumbering in his dark lair, t'was a mesmerizing sight, and one that brought no end of joy to my heart. He's so proud. This calamity hath stolen too much from you already. Yet so long as you live, the light of Radzathan will never be extinguished. <laughs> I pray you let me watch over it. Over you. And lend me your strength that we might face this trial and those to come as one. I do not know you, dragon, but I thank you for speaking the truth to us. As divinities, both Manusha and Riga once joined together, so too do I believe that hand in hand, we can overcome this ordeal and welcome an era of peace.
<laughs> Only one person clapped. <laughs> a sight that would have surely brought a smile to Izale's face. Mm. Indeed. Oh my god, Hot Father is here. Oh fuck. What does this entail though? Is this gonna Excuse be good me, or bad? But I must speak with the Sartrap at once. Mm. I don't I don't necessarily trust him. Fun. I know I, I I don't know if I should or not. You know what I mean? I you can't get the vibe check of off late. Though. Yet you must endeavor to look beyond these losses to the future you yet have. On behalf of the Forum of Charlian, I come with a proposal by which you, the people of Radzathan, might be saved. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna try shipping them off I to the moon? I say again, I must speak with your satrap. I beseech you, take me to him with all possible haste. They're not gonna want to leave. I am satrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. If I have given offense, then I apologize. First, allow me to share with you what knowledge we have of the phenomenon responsible for your woes. The final days. It is an affliction of stagnancy and rot, sown into the currents of the star. Though the first prominent manifestation was here, in Thavnir, it will invariably spread to every corner of the world. The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion. By securing a means of escape. I knew it. He's gonna try to convince them. And just like Alizé and Alfino said, they're not gonna fucking budge. Escape this star? What madness is this? Tis by no means madness. With the coming of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the red moon Dalamud was revealed. That it was an artificial construct of ancient Alag. But what of the silver moon? This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies. Oh yeah, I knew A that. ship. <laughs> that will sail the heavens and deliver our people I was like, whoa, did I miss something? And then the and bunnies came people, crawling back into my brain. I speak not only of Charlian. We mean to save every man, woman, and child it is within our power to save. Heidelin and all that shit. <laughs> Including you, our dear friends of Radzat Han. Recent events necessitate adjustments be made, and quickly, but we can and will escort you safely to the moon. Long has thy forum been allies to Thavnir. I trust thou dost not extend this offer lightly. Yet I wonder, is this truly the way? Is there a future to be built for us beyond this star our father deemed the last bastion of hope? It is for that very reason I come before you and your people. To answer any and all of your questions. To offer my assurances and allay your fears. Though, if you wish the best for your people, I advise you to render your decision They're not swiftly. gonna do it. They're not gonna fucking do it. Show our friends to Mega Duta. They are to be received as honored guests. Oh, I see Worry that's not. One I know. Whatever decision is reached, your paths shall be yours to decide. Oh, good. He's 
gonna let the people choose. But Until then, they think they're not gonna heed go. the warning of these brave heroes. Guard your hearts against fear and despair, for it is within such fertile soil that the seeds of blasphemy find purchase. Remain calm and attend to your daily tasks. I shall return anon. I do love that, we'll though. do as you say, Master Vitra. You know? We believe in you. Fight through, like, the despair, the misery. We don't turn into a fucking beast. Literally me in real life with my fucking anxiety. I'm terrible when I'm upset. <laughs> I'm like, it's hard to reason with me. I turn into a little demon. Oh fuck, what did she find out? She's sprinting. Oh, you're still here. What did he leave? Nidana, what's the matter? Has something happened at Palika stand? Oh god. Oh no, not that I know of. Oh. I just hope to hear your thoughts on a theory of mine. Okay. All who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? What is it then that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? Logically, they must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. That put me in mind of our earlier conversation when I tried to explain the essence which many confuse with ether. Oh. Akisha. I remember this. Yes, yeah. I remember. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. An energy influenced solely by emotion. Like my flower! Yes, yes. In this instance, negative ones set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. I posit this as the mechanism by which the beasts are born and sustained. Take notes. Well, understanding. Yep, yep. Ah, do you still have that flower? Yeah, let me pull it out of my butt real quick. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay, I uh, don't have it anymore! Huh. If we accept that it once shone bright oh. by drawing upon Akasha, right. influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, then fear, terror, despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. We must be very careful. The forces which drive the final days Maybe beyond our ability to perceive. Man, I still don't know. Like, I, oh my god. Who is, who is doing this? Who is <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. At any rate, like, I will continue my research into Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Formulating a new theory as you have is itself no small feat. I wish you well in your endeavors and pray you take care. Thank you. You stay safe as well, yes? Till next we meet, and we will meet again. I love her. I love Natana. I'm glad you didn't fucking turn. <sighs> Man, all right, the plot is cooking. It is thickening. All right. Okay, let's turn this in, and then we're gonna call it here, chat. As far as we have come, and after all the horrors we have seen, there is still so much we do not know about the final days. Could it be, as Nidhana said, that the cause of this phenomenon is beyond our comprehension? And if so, are we powerless to forestall it? At world's end? What do you mean the next quest is called At World's End? And I have to talk to a soldier? Man. One more and this patch is done, by the way. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired, though. I'm so sleepy. I don't even know if I could do one more. I'm like yawning. 
We're gonna have to- we're gonna just have to call it here, unfortunately. Like, I want to keep going, but I kind of like ending the stream on this, like, inquisitive and, like, happy note, you know? Yo, 420. Ending the stream at 420? Slay. But yeah, I mean, I will be back tomorrow. We will be streaming more FF14 tomorrow. I'll be live again at 7 p.m., maybe 8 p.m. if I oversleep, because I am definitely gonna fucking nap tomorrow. I'm gonna take advantage of having a really lazy day tomorrow. I might miss the beginning of the stream. That's okay. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm not offended or anything. But yeah, we'll be playing more FF14 tomorrow, and we're gonna be playing more on Friday as well, which means we got a lot more story, story, um, grinding coming in, okay? Y'all don't gotta worry about it. You're not gonna miss anything. I'm not gonna miss anything. Everything's gonna be okay. All right, okay, we're good. We're good. Ryan, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're ending here. But yeah, I hope you guys had a fun stream. I did, I definitely did. That, it was, it was invigorating to say the least. I'm glad that we have made progress in saving Thavner. You know, it sounds like we're gonna be okay. It was, we, there were a lot of losses. There were a lot of L's, a lot of emotions, and a lot of twists and turns that I honestly half anticipated, half didn't. You know what I mean? I saw a lot of those, those like plot points coming, but I didn't think they would, <laughs> I just didn't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think Yoshi P would pull the trigger on some of that, you know what I mean? But anyway, we're gonna go raid ATM Zero. I will see you all in his stream and then tomorrow on my stream. And then on socials and then on Discord. So yeah, don't forget to join the Discord server. Don't forget to join the Discord server. Follow me on social media. I will see you all later. Yeah, take care. Bye! <laughs>